Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first ever Patreon exclusive commentary track for all you five tier people. Yes, thank you very much for supporting all of us. I am the clown prince of podcasts, unfortunately, for this one. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I am your friendly <laughs> neighborhood caster, Kirkland Patser. Hi. I'm her caster, Dylan Muss. Uh, I am the Slipknot Taylor Field. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So if you've not seen our reveal or if you've not heard the news, we are doing six commentary tracks exclusively for Patreon at the $5 tier. They're exclusive. You can't get them everywhere. They're not early. you got to come here to watch them. And we have a bunch planned out. After this is Mortal Kombat. After that yeah. is Toby's Spider-Man. Oh, after that God. After BVS. And then after those two is a Halloween movie to decide. And then the last one's going to be a fan choice. So we're going to decide those later in the year. But they're all exclusive. So those are all great choices. They're all good ones. We're going to have lots of fun. And the reason we're doing Suicide Squad is because this is releasing at the time of Birds of Prey coming out. This will be before, so we haven't seen it. So hopefully it's great. Hopefully it's maybe better than this movie. But um, we were doing that because this is Harley Quinn's first mm. appearance. So True. this is what we're talking about. For myself, uh, we'll do a little intro, and then we're going to get in the movie. Right when Taylor hits play, we'll let you know where we are. For myself, I think this is one of the worst comic movies of all time. I don't care what people say. I wish it was in the... The Golden Geek's worst decade. I think, other than Will Smith and Margot Robbie, there's not many good things. And Amanda Waller. Well, what about Boomerang? But Captain Boomerang. Yeah, what about fine. Slingshot? He, slingshot. What about Crocs? <laughs> What's his name? Captain Boomerang? Or Slipknot? Sure. Yeah, Slipknot. There yeah. we go. Slingshot. Forgettable name. Slingshot. <laughs> so I think this is a really bad movie. I've watched it many times just because I think Margot Robbie is, we've talked about this before, is like, you know, Downey was Iron Man, Ryan Reynolds the Deadpool. She's a perfect Harley Quinn. She's exactly what I imagined. And I was quite excited for this movie when it was coming out. Other than the tattoos, I thought Jared Leto was going to do a good job. That wasn't the case for me. So I'm excited to watch this. I haven't actually watched it in quite a while. I'm excited to watch this with these guys and hear what they all have to say. So, Well said. I will say as well, Like, I, I mean, if, if you're on Patreon, you probably know this, but we did a review of this movie way back in the day. It was our biggest episode for a long time, well, actually. Yeah, so yeah. I'm sure you've watched it already, but you can go check that out. Um, Suicide Squad, yeah, I haven't seen this movie since the theater. Um, I was in a hotel a few days ago. This was on because I was flipping through. They didn't have a guide, so I just had to flip through. And this was on, and I, I turned it off, honestly, not because we were about to do this, but because I just didn't want to watch it because it's just not that great. And then I eventually found Civil War, and I was like, all right, we're, we're doing good. Um, yeah, I don't know. This movie is, I don't know. I, I thought it was, f f like, fun enough at the time. I think I gave it, like, I, this is back when I did numbers. I think I gave it, like, a seven. So, you know, it's not, not too bad of a score. Um, but I, I'm actually just really excited to see it again because I'm sure there's tons of stuff I forgot, and apparently we're watching the fucking extended cut, so... I'm sure there's some extra garbage in there that I can't wait to gobble down. Yeah, I have a similar story to yours where I saw this on TV. This was probably a couple months back. You were in Dylan's hotel. <laughs> <laughs> were you? <laughs> I thought I heard someone. Maybe at different times. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was on TV. I, I don't even remember what scene it was. And it took me a while just to remember like what movie it was just because maybe I'd blocked it out of my memory. <laughs> and <laughs> It's just very dark, too. Yeah, you I can't see anything. I remember just like watching it and not knowing what it was and being like, yeah, let's, let's just keep this on. And then once I actually clued in that it was Suicide Squad... It's not like I was mad or like, oh, I can't turn like I can't watch this because it goes against my my <laughs> morals or something. But I was just like, let's just let's just turn to something else, you know. So, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I feel like when we left the theater, I was also in similar like like mindset of I thought it was OK mm -hmm. enough. I d it didn't sit with me until I mean, whenever we do reviews, some like negative things come to light yeah. and also positive things come to light. So like some things I might miss. But uh, overall, uh, yeah, uh, this is a very forgettable film for me. And I'm, I don't know, I'm excited to do a commentary on it because I'm sure we'll just have some laughs and talk about how ridiculous it is. But the, the one character that I remember the most from this film, other than Harley Quinn, of course, would have to be that Slipknot guy. And I can't even remember his name. Slipknot. <laughs> Slingshot. <laughs> I want to say, too, other than my ass Kyle, this is the same uh, people that reviewed it, too. Because Blaze yeah. wasn't on the one or Jessica. So Didn't we all can see you, it like, in the same buzz, theater, too? Can you buzz Kyle? Sure? Yeah, I will right now. Give him a call. While he's Tell him to put the movie the on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say, uh, first of all, I'm wearing the Hunka Hunka shirt in honor of my brother. Just because I'm not a big fan of their show. but you, know, you and I yours. It, I thought it was pretty... Uh, uh, fitting, but now we're joined by Taylor Field, who <sighs> this is kind of maybe your most infamous review as far yeah. as what you gave. Well, this the score, yeah. yeah, the <laughs> yeah. score, yeah, yeah, the score is very. Sad. I think this is what started the Taylor ranking system: cut it in half and then add two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, this is. Which uh, preceded by many movies because you gave it a 10 out of 10 for the new viewers, but then it preceded so many movies by saying this is better than Suicide Squad, but those movies wouldn't be a 10 out of 10. It's the so ranking system. It was very strange. Uh, yeah, this movie got <laughs> an extra two points. Like, Will Smith gave it each, like, a point, and then Will Smith gave it another point just because I loved it. Wait, two points no, 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 for no. Will Smith? Yeah, Will Smith gave me two points for this movie. Not, not in Margot Robbie. I think I was just off the hype of Will Smith. I just right. loved his. Wow. I'm a big Will Smith Teach fan. Teach their own. He's Teach good. Did own. you see Bad Boys? Um, he's good. Bad Boys? I have not, but I'm going to. Okay. Now with Bad Boys 4 in development, I'm going to hop on the Bad Boys train. <laughs> Anyways, the Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, I've not seen this movie since theaters, and it's always been the one That's like... That's crazy to me. That's a lie. That is crazy. No, I haven't seen it since theaters. Then you lied to us, because you watched it, I thought, once on Netflix, because you said, I have to watch it to see if it's really 10 out of 10, and then you watched it, and you're like, yeah, Did still I? 10 out of 10. I can't remember. Or you just lied. Well, no. That would have been a long time. That would have been like three years ago. I can't remember. I mean, you actually, you might be right, because I do... I. It was on Netflix for a few months at one point. Yeah, it was because like I've 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 seen. I like, remember skipping past it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> various times. Yeah, this is a movie where I've gone back and I've watched like certain scenes. But actually, uh, you might be right. I I did see it on Netflix. I think I totally fucking forgot then. But uh, it's yeah, it's it's a movie that uh, I haven't watched since Netflix. I guess three years ago, but. <laughs> It's it's always been the one that I've always thought about buying on DVD, especially on like Black Friday deals for like three bucks and like the bin at Walmart. But and you did. That's how we're watching it. That is, yeah, yeah. I did buy it. Um, <laughs> Check out no, the video one. But it's uh, like I've got all the other movies like Justice League, BVS, and like, you know Man of Steel. And I don't have Aquaman Man yet. Of, I got Wonder Woman. Man of Steel, which you don't like. Steel you, case. Steel I case. know he doesn't like Man of Steel. He owns that. But the movie he gave a ten out of ten. Doesn't own it at all. Not even just a regular. You know. I know. I it's was it, it for the pun? It's on the, the Man books. of Steel case. In a Steel case. Yeah. How could I not really? <laughs> but I mean, th- it's on the. It's it's gonna happen. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to get this movie eventually. Happen. I will. Because I need to complete the collection, right? So yeah. I, no, uh, you don't. <laughs> I do. I got Justice League. It's sitting right there on the shelf. So I got to eventually get <laughs> Suicide day, Squad. One day. When Justice League 2 comes out, we'll contract Jeez. that. Yeah. Well, are we ready to start this? Oh, yeah. So I think Taylor, so. Taylor's going to go set it up here. So give us one second. I think we were starting right at the DC logo. Uh, Taylor, tell us when you hit play. This is the extended version. This it's is two ex- hours and 14 minutes yeah. long. And 33 seconds. We're at the DC logo. It's spinning perfect. right now. We got subtitles on for all of us. Thank goodness we have better mics because we would be copyrighted out the ass in this oh, movie because yeah, they use yeah. every. It's already starting with fucking House of the Rising Sun. <laughs> yeah, they have every popular rock or pop song <laughs> from the 2000s, early it's like 90s. Like the Ubisoft conference yeah. all over. Rock again. music playing. How insulting is that? It doesn't even know it's House of the Rising Sun. Mm-hmm. So you got Will buzzer Smith buzzes. <laughs> Thanks to the uh, <laughs> subtitles for that one. So we're meeting Will Smith. We're meeting Deadshot right so now. So it's, it's already a 1 out of 10 for Taylor because we see yeah. Will Smith. No, 2. two, two. two an automatic 2 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> one for each crazy. bicep. <laughs> Do you Not guys have an actor after. that does that if he's in a movie to a 10? I'll say uh, I have many, but for you guys? I'm I mean, sure. off the top of my head, I would say like feeling? Paul Rudd or Jack Black yeah, yeah, yeah. are kind of the ones that come to my head. Yeah, I'm um, sure I got a lengthy list. What yeah. if they were killed off quickly like a Slipknot, though? Would you still give it a two? Or would uh, you I also ended Armist for me is a yeah. recent one. <laughs> yeah. For like, sure. she instantly bumped it up, like, five points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Ghost. Is that Griggs? Yo, Briggs? Is that who? Griggs. Oh, Griggs. Griggs. The, the subtitle said Griggs yeah, is his character. Name. He uh, looks like a discount Joel Edgerton, if you ask me. Uh, yeah. I do love that saying, though. I'm going to beat the hell out of you, like, the Holy Ghost. That just is, like, really cool. There's some cool moments in this movie. And this opening... Is it really though, that cool, though? I, I think so. Okay. This is... Oh. This is pop music Har- playing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't own Margot Robbie. Someone... Oof. Easy G or something. Look but at that hair. This scene is what sold me on uh, her as this. Because I was really excited, but in the trailers, they toned down her accent, which was weird. But then the, the way she, like, it sounds weird, but she licks the pole at one point and says some stuff to the guard... They're the Harley Quinn-ish. So. so here's something. Isn't Harley Quinn, doesn't she normally have like like what's considered like an Australian accent or, some, or like no, some sort like of accent? No, it's like Brooklyn. It's like, oh, okay. what you do? Like it is yeah. like I think Brooklyn, New York, yeah. whatever that'd be. <laughs> what I can't you doing? Do <laughs> I can't do hey, I'm walking here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is like that. Yeah. <laughs> Very over the top, like Brooklyn accent, I'd say. Very heavy. But yeah, Mario Robbie, just perfect casting. Yeah, and then... You know, there's not much to say there. What about her face tat? Right. Uh, we'll talk one. about the tattoos in a second. <laughs> Let's yeah, just the talk tattoos are something else. <laughs> yeah. Very hot topic. But j- the way she's, like, playing with them here, very Harley Quinnish, good, you know. So 
big fan of her in this role, and I'm happy she's carrying on. She's in Birds of Prey coming up. She's in Suicide Squad 2. Is so she in Birds of Prey? Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. She's in Squad 2, so apparently DC, you know, I they... I keep forgetting that Squad 2 is like a thing that is going to exist in this With world. James Gunn? Totally forgot about that. Well, yeah. like a prequel re- redo They said or it's a right. revision. They a don't revision. Know, I don't know what that means, but... She's coming back and Captain Boomerang's coming back. I hate... This is when I knew something was wrong with the movie. This part right here. That. Yeah. Spring I break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spring break. You, we just had Greg see like pose with uh, Margot Robbie and was like doing the selfie. What yeah. were they doing to her? Just feeding her? She wasn't eating? I guess. That was weird. I don't know. We got some stones coming in now. But this is where, so apparently there's rumors that this was after BVS and obviously lots of changes happened after BVS and David Ayer didn't get to edit this movie. They got a trailer company to edit it, and that's how I, you can feel the beginning. It's very trailery. It cuts. Yeah. There's just hit songs, and I don't think it works because it's just it's very choppy already. And we're five, we're you know a few minutes in. I wonder how much money they spent on music alone. Because we're lot like of money. we're like five minutes in, and there's already like two big songs from that probably cost a lot of money. I would I a would, lot of I money. Would yeah. Wager. So this is after BVS and before Justice League. Yeah. In the timeline. Okay. Were you caught off guard by that? It well, doesn't really this, matter. If you flip right? the shirt around, it was like, remember Yo, Superman. The I was like, oh. Yeah, fair enough. Knives yeah. out? No, it is. Yeah. This is the prequel to the Knives Daniel out. Craig. Um, well, Man of Darm. Get Margo. This is very, on. like, uh, Dishonored style doorway right there. Oh, yeah. I respect that. We have uh, the Red Done Guardian well. coming up here soon and the guy from Stranger Things and Hellboy. Is this the same restaurant that he she sits with Bruce Wayne at the end? Yeah, we'll probably be around for that in credits. I like her jacket. Do you want one? Well, I don't know if it'd work on me, but on her, it looks great. It does look good, eh? Top secret. Just a fucking binder that says top secret all over the top of it. <laughs> You're fucked. That's such a bad idea. Well, the rumors are right. And obviously a, big, obviously a big problem with this movie. Everyone's said it. It's a big joke. But like they're trying to find a replacement for Superman. And the team they assemble... Not not Superman worthy. A bunch of skids. The symbol for justice. <laughs> yeah. Like, you got this girl who's just... Her power is just her skin is bleached white and she's crazy. That's all. You got a guy that throw a boomerang. Deadshot. Okay, he can shoot. Deadshot's guns. pretty badass. Yeah, he's enough. he's Hawkeye. I love that these openings yeah. here and like when they give. This is really fun. I like this is kind of tongue in cheek, cheek, but enough coolness. Yo, and musket. And a musket. Mm. <laughs> Hip hop music playing. Well, what song is this, guys? Side. I don't know, but I listen to it all the time. I really do like this soundtrack because it just has a bunch of hit songs. So yeah, Spotify I listen to it a lot. It's essentially, like the top. Top charts 100%, from across yeah. the years, but it's weird that we got an opening with Deadshot in prison, and then we're getting like another opening with Deadshot here. Like you don't need that prison one, yeah. really. Just start with this, you know. Especially since they only showed Ooh, him and bucks. Harley Quinn in <laughs> prison. Like, why not show everyone? And, and I'm, I'm if you're not going to show everyone, why not just show no one? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they're going to show Harley Quinn like almost immediately <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know why they went that route. I think this is a cool opening to the movie. Or even if you opened with this and then you cut to her telling the story about him, then it's like, okay, yeah. this is Will Smith is dead shot. Or know? they could just cut everything and just have Harley Quinn for two <laughs> yeah, hours. Just the Harley Quinn movie. That's what does this, this turtleneck say? I am legend? Cross promoting his other movie? Yo, that's one, of, that's one of the best movies of all time. <laughs> I will say I am legend. It was famous for, if you look at po- post apocalyptic before it was ever announced or happened, there was a poster for Batman versus Superman. Oh, really? Warner Brothers movie. Mm. So that was a fun little Easter egg they did in there years and years before they even made that movie. So I Am Legend has one of the sickest steel cases, too. Yeah, yeah. I have one steel case, and it's it's that one, and it's <laughs> Great really movie. cool. You lent it to me when we were at the Target together. Hell, yeah. You know what? One Great day, movie. Taylor might vote for that. One day, a Will Smith retro could be in... I'd, do I'd be Legend. down. Be Some After Earth yeah. and no, Fresh Prince no, of Bel-Air. No, no. After <laughs> Earth. I want to see After Earth. Was that a movie? <laughs> I would do After Earth, but it is it is a wild M. Night Shyamalan movie. We gotta do Wild Wild West, and we do the oh, original Wild Wild, Wild West. West. Yeah, that's yeah. A good maybe one. one day, maybe one day. Fresh Prince, all seasons. Mm-hmm. Check out this year. <laughs> we're doing the Nolan retro and Harry Potter. Oh. Those are the two themes. I'm ones. so stoked for those. Yeah, Look yeah. at that hat. I wish I could rock a hat like that. Because behind the scenes, I didn't make the hype video, but when I was watching it and the Harry Potter theme comes on, I was and the, the logo. Man, I was <laughs> I was creaming my jeans over here. Creaming. And creaming. I don't even, and I don't even wear jeans. So. <laughs> I'm a what? I can't attest. He isn't even tipped. Look at that hat. Too. Yeah, yeah. He looks like Odd Job from 007. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. playing him in the No Time to Die. <laughs> Can't <laughs> wait for that. That'd be great. Look at those earrings, too. Those are big swag. And this is good setup here. Like, he wants to get out of the crime life. He's just doing it so he can be with his daughter. You know, I feel like his daughter looks like she's like 15. 
I don't think so. I think she's probably like 10 or 12. They do say girls look a lot older than boys at those ages. Like, they mature a lot quicker. So I just I I just, she 12. has, like, a very, like, she has, like, a Barbie doll, and she looks, like, 15 Oh, to me, fair so enough. Yeah, I don't weird. know about the doll thing, but, yeah. Batman just totally ruins this father-daughter moment. But it's that's t- such a Batman moment. This, the way Batman is using this movie is really good. I really enjoy it. Because I like the, w- I wish they did this more. I like the way that they describe him. He's their villain, right? He comes in and he, yeah, he's breaking up this moment with this daughter. And uh, I feel like no- it's kind of strange that he called him Deadshot. Eh, he know. probably knows who he is, right? And you got to think about what this means for Batman too. In this moment, where he lost his parents in an alley, you have this guy, his daughter, a gun involved, and this girl steps in front of Bruce Wayne. Some really good like symbolism there, you know. Good thing Deadshot didn't shoot his daughter, and Batman <laughs> would have felt like a real tech. <laughs> <Yeah>. Deja vu. <laughs> that didn't go the way I planned. I just feel like he could have waited for him to not be with his daughter. Well, he, I think or he was trying to skip not care. town. That's what he's talking about, right? Uh, like, I got something set up for us. So I think it was he's getting ready to bust and then, out. Fair and then he has kind of an advantage if he goes when his daughter's there, right? Yeah. Well, exactly that's true. at that moment Because then right? he's not just going to be slinging musket bullets. I guess you know? so. Musket bullets. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he just pulls the musket out of his pants. <laughs> it takes five See, minutes to yeah, leave. <laughs> Harley Quinn is next. So I love this opening. I love the music. I love the shots of her. Right there, accomplice of murder of Robin, which they're not going to talk about at all. She's murdered a child, but in Birds of Prey, she's just having a good time. We're never going to address it, that she's murdered a 12-year-old. This is the movie I wish we got. Apparently, there are more cut scenes of them together. I just thought you needed to show their dynamic of falling in love, him twisting her. But that's what, not what this movie was for, unfortunately. And we just get, oh boy, and here he is. <laughs> oh, oh God, man, so... Joker. The man, I think he was really our first meme on the podcast for a while. You know, like the first thing we call back to is like, man, that was rough. He is something. And I, and this is the thing, I always try to find the positive. I unfortunately have no positives for Jared Leto. I hope Morbius is good, but he. (laughs) 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 He's so cringy (laughs) every single scene. But, uh, yeah, not a fan of anything that happens there. I like these goons. They're kind of fun. The panda goons? Yeah, right yeah. out of Fortnite. <laughs> they, they saw what was coming before. <laughs> they saw Suicide Squad. They're like, that's Fortnite right there. <laughs> uh, he's so bad. <laughs> he, really, he misread it big time. So we're at the part where he's turning Harley Quinn, which I never understood because she was already, like, loves him, but sh- he, like, tortures her. This is legitimately one of the worst performances of all time. <laughs> He's so bad. A black hole rage and confusion. But there's just so much confusion here of what their relationship is. Are they going for the abusiveness? Are they going for their completely in love? The film contradicts itself <laughs> every second. Uh, or every few scenes. Yeah. Taylor, you're Mr. Pause. What do you feel about Jared Leto's Joker? <laughs> I mean, there's a few things like it's not like I hate it, but I kind of just uh, do you have him ranked last? Can I say that? Even if you were to say you could out like of all it? the Jokers, yeah, I'd probably rank him last. Like Jack Nicholson, <laughs> probably I mean, with him, a I like Zach Galifianakis' Joker more than Jared Leto's Joker. Joker. We get the classic Harley Quinn caution, which we've never gotten. I hope we get it. When one did Galifianakis play Joker? Yeah, Lego Batman. Dizzy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and here you say is. that like uh, something I should just know off the top. <laughs> well, you of my love head. Lego Batman, I yeah, but you like remember. it's all voice. It's not like I'm going to remember. This scene is <laughs> horrendous. Also, we got the class Hong Kong, but <laughs> they have common in here. What does he say? Where's the beef in Where's this the scene? Be- no, well, you got no beef. You got the, no beef. The conversations they have, he's just like, and that's why he's in the hype video. It's just, oh, here comes the laugh. Oh ah, no. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh. And for me, I just never liked the Joker being a mobster boss because he's supposed to be someone that is like evading Batman all the time. Yeah. And if Batman knows he's just down the street in this fucking club, this it works for some villains, but Joker is supposed to be chaotic, right? <laughs> That's the way the Penguin is. Penguin does stuff in secret. <laughs> so oh, the, the fire, fire in my loins. The edge in my crotch. Like I'm picturing Willem Dafoe's character in Lighthouse could say all of these lines. <laughs> oh, I love this part. The sound cue. Everything with her is great, but... I don't know, that was kind of weird. Uh, and then Common has... <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. And then what Snake happens is, is, like, so he wants Common to fuck Harley Quinn, and Common's like, are you sure you're okay with this? And he's like, what do you mean? Am I like... <laughs> oh. Oh, there the classic go. line. Uh, we got a show very stuff for that. That's when I knew I had given up all hope, because I compare him to... He feels like an SNL sketch of 
uh, the Joker to me. He <laughs> yeah. doesn't feel. He feels like if Jim Carrey was playing the Joker, he feels very much like that. Yeah. And that'd be fun if this was a Batman. Like, he likes this cuckold stuff. <laughs> 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 you don't want no he peace. just wants like he's like can I sleep with her and it's so weird this makes oh god and this <laughs> and this cut of what happens here so cheesy the cutting of the gun and everything oh <laughs> Oh man, look at that car. That car's Yeah, how hard. does he get a car That's like that? That's a fucking that. Hot Wheels. There's a song limited on Limited edition right there. The Purple Lamborghini. There's a song on the Suicide Squad track. It's really bad. See, she's killing it. That's animated Harley Quinn right there, calling him Batsy, everything, and you got. The scene in general is not <laughs> the greatest, but. Which is strange. So she just says, she just says he's more crazy. She's more crazy than the Joker, right? But then we get the scene where she's like, "Put it in." Like, what are you yeah. doing? Well, she faked being dead or unconscious underwater, and then like tried to like shank him, right? So that's pretty crazy. Let me ask, I don't she think said she, does. she, oh, said she, she does, can't yeah. swim. What percentage of the human population do you think cannot swim? Like just I'm like in that adults. percentage. Oh, like twenty five year old. You can't swim. Well, you can't not swim. We've been to the beach with you. Yeah, but I usually go where I can touch the ground. <laughs> like you're you can saying, dog paddle, you're saying if your car flew into the lake, you wouldn't be able to get watch out of your this. car and make it to land. Watch this right hand coming. Well, holy, came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel confident I could probably escape. I mean, I'd probably pull a Joker and be out of there. It'd be uh, hard to punch I'd like that underwater. I'd say five percent of the world can't swim. I'd say way more percentage than that. Really? Yeah. Right now we're looking at seventy five like, can and twenty five cans America? amongst us. Mm. This is great. Taylor can swim. This Canada is great where he brings back life and then she starts making him out. Classic Harley move. Apparently there was some dialogue that they cut about her teasing him about killing Robin, but they cut that because they think they're like They just don't want to touch upon the Robin yeah. stuff. Oh, even, though they, Captain oh, here. even though they My put man. it on her Digger rashy. Harkness. Is that his name? I'm so confused. Fetishes. What did it Pink say? Unicorns. Pink, Pink, Pink unicorns. Pink unicorns. He has that on his belt the whole movie if you look carefully as a pinky unicorn stuffy surprisingly i do like captain boomerang he does a good job here this was our every bank in australia how many banks do you think there is in australia 32 i'm sure kyle's been to all 32 there's <laughs> at least like 2000 <laughs> this was our first look at flash i was so excited Obviously, I forgot flashes in this movie. Yeah, obviously, Justin shout outs to uh, Ezra Miller crossing over. Yeah, and, uh, he went to the TV oh, universe. And he's going to be in that movie. Oh, El I Diablo. hate this character in this film. <laughs> no, this is an awful character. He's also just a huge Hispanic hair, like stereotype, stereotype in the worst yeah. way of just like criminal who's abusive to yeah. family. It's just that's the problem with this movie. I feel like there's lots of racial stereotypes that are not subtle and not well yeah. handled. And that's one of them. Like he's like the cholo sort. It's just oh, it, yeah keeps talking about like his relation to like jesus or whatever <laughs> yeah. it is hell yeah he's like trying to redeem himself just yeah. a weird yeah oh, oh here we go this is at least Waylon another Jones. two points for me <laughs> love two killer points croc right four for taylor right now <laughs> love killer croc killer croc taylor yeah he was a massive killer croc fan i don't hate him in this movie but he's just kind of there and there's not much oh I'll keep him in the swamps yeah and then we're back to the... It's funny that the other characters get these... That's David Ayer, the director. Yeah. These other characters get these... Oh, they're missions. And then we're back in the prison with Killer Croc. So, strange. But, all right. Give me that, Smitty. Killer Croc has one of the best levels in the Batman Arkham Asylum game. You have to go in the sewers and it's oh, really Oh, that was crazy yeah, good. Yeah, it's scary. He's, like, hunting you and you can see, like, vibrations in the panels yeah. and it comes out. Really good in uh, Arkham Asylum. And I wish we get that one day, just a massive, like, Hulk killer croc one day, but. Enemy. Giant skinless goat he's getting fed right now. They're really giving him, like, a large amount of food. Yeah. He's a big boy. The goat, too. That's not a pig. Huh. Yeah, true. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get sympathy for all, not all, but some of these villains. I don't think they really did that with Boomerang or Harley Quinn. There's not really much <laughs> of a, like, <laughs> I don't know. Whoever the actor is for Hopper, I feel like he should just always have a beard. Some people yeah, should yeah. just not shave. Yeah, <laughs> true. 
I think Keanu might be one of those now, too. Because yeah. he shaved his beard for Bill and Ted, and I was like, oh, I think it was a mistake. Yeah. Maybe that happens when you get a certain age, though, you know? Maybe, yeah. Once Yo. you're, like, 30 or 40, boom. Oh, oh boy. let's go. <laughs> I this forgot about Enchantress. June Moon, <laughs> Dr. June, June Moon. Moon. Oh, boy. Enchantress is hype. I like the idea of her. It's just what she becomes and the CGI around her and everything gets... I love CGI. <laughs> Get those arms flailing. Yeah, exactly. Some Tomb Raider shit. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, so we're at the Enchantress's origin It looked here. like she intentionally tried to break... Why did she oh, do 100%. that? 100%. And luckily, the Enchantress already looks like Cara Delevingne. <laughs> to be fair, you can make the <laughs> argument it's a psychological she thing. Sees it, she I sees know. it. I know. I'm defending her. <laughs> I'm being a shitty fan. Extra dimensional. Age 600, 373 Man. specifically. 600, 300? 6,373. <laughs> I'm high. No. <laughs> uh, there you go. They said it right. Ooh, a secret buried heart. Mm hmm. Some exposition right now. This whole fifty minutes is just exposition on all these characters, and it's just, it's wild. This feels like a pilot of a TV show, but it's a movie. Really? Yeah, like just I this think opening. I would agree with that, yeah. And then it's like it, you don't have to do a two episode one, but then it's like next week the team like comes together, you know. But everyone go watch Watchmen. So we've met Killer Croc, we've met uh, June Moon, we've met Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, we've met Will We've Smith. met them all except for slip sh Slipshot. We don't slip, meet him. Slip, slip we stream. meet him very sling, quickly. Sling. Oh, here comes Sling Daddy. Daddy. Sling Daddy. Daddy. Dylan's. Dylan hated him on the yeah, review. Yeah, fuck Rick Flag, dude. <laughs> Rick Flag. <laughs> He's coming back. What an American name. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Golf's <laughs> with a three <laughs> handicap. This was originally uh, Tom Hardy's role, but he had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. Legitimately, he was supposed to be Rick Flag. Yikes. He loves comic book movies, though, because he did this. And he did Dark Knight Rises. He did Venom. Venom. He loves, and he's been all about trying to get Tom Holland Spider Man. He's a big fan, so I yeah. like that. I just wish his agent would be like, do this one, you know? Like, and even though, okay, Dylan, you hate Dark Knight Rises, that was a smart thing for him to do. Billion dollar movie. It reviewed well, so at least that one, but the rest of them kind of be. You know? But hey, Venom, I can't say. Almost $900 million movie, so another hit yeah. on his hands, so. He knows what he's doing. He does. I like seeing him in comic book movies. I do too. I hope Venom 2 is much better. Pentagon. We Venom. Should, we should do that maybe next year. Well, I guess Before Venom the movie? Place. Yeah, maybe we should do a Venom comic tear track. If we have time. That's why you support some Patreon. Maybe we can sneak another one on. I feel like this. that'd be an easy one, though. That would it's be just one movie. Yeah. Oh, it'd be easy just the fact of uh, Scheduling. Uh, our schedule. Yeah. You know? We're busy boys for the fans. We are busy boys. 2020. So we've met almost everybody. There's two more we didn't. Slipknot. We didn't meet Katana either. Oh, yeah. Katana. She doesn't get a backstory. She has like a crying sword or something. <laughs> Takes souls of the victims right. and stores them and makes them more powerful. That's in this movie. That's a fucking yeah. dope concept. It is. It's just like what such the a fuck? Remember, character. Rick Flag just says it in exposition. He's like, This is Katana. Her sword is a deadly uh, weapon. And that's all you ever learn of Katana. Her sword's deadly weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants script. Everybody <laughs> wants soul. <laughs> If you uh, could replace any of the Suicide Squad with Tommy Wiseau in this movie, who would you do? So with, with not not the Tommy Wiseau, but he's Flag. playing one of those characters. <laughs> Rick Flag, okay. Really? Oh, God. I feel like... you are tearing me apart. Uh, Judy I mean, Moon. It's got to be Joker, right? <laughs> That's the <laughs> obvious answer. <laughs> That's is. the obvious one. I'd say other than that, maybe like uh, El Diablo, Diablo, whatever his name is. The Taylor. Reason, the reason why I say oh, Rick yeah. Flag is because he's all American, man. Oh, right. that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Taylor, are you replacing anyone? Um, maybe Slipknot. <laughs> You'd lose him so early, though. No, in my version, they wouldn't kill him <laughs> off. <laughs> in his version. I Yeah, it's tough. I like this cool CGI flip. Look at that. That's yeah. cool. That's some cool stuff. And th see, this look I don't mind of Enchantress. This is kind of fine. It's yeah. when she gets into her, like, hybrid. The, what, what do they call those predators? Uber predators, right? Super or predator. Super Berserker predator. Berserker predator. Yeah, when she comes, becomes... <laughs> I strike her. <laughs> you were yeah. so close, yeah. honestly. Get Concept out of his house. Conceptually, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> when she becomes Berserker Enchantress, not cool. Berserker Enchantress. Yeah. And what change is that? She gets her heart? Is that what it is? We're about to find out. Her I think it's because she gets, gets her heart. Her brother Fuck, gets I her. forgot she had a brother. <laughs> yeah. I forgot so much He's about this CGI movie. He's a CGI mess in this yeah. movie. 
Because remember in Suicide Squad before, they didn't tell us who the villain was. They kept that under right. wraps. And Because yeah. everyone, actually, no. What they did, marketing-wise, they made it look like it was the Joker. And that was a smart thing. And I still think that's why this movie was such a hit. Because so many people are like, oh, the Joker is versus a bunch of villains. That's cool. And yeah. then you learn he's in it for about five minutes. But I really think that's the reason. And I think they should have gone that route. They shouldn't have made they shouldn't have made a chance the big threat with gun people and stuff like that. Joker would have been the perfect villain to take down for all these. She's like, just feeling him up. <laughs> for all these people that are like in like super powered, no chance. So that's why Joker. That makes sense. Do you think Rick Flag ever got her to turn into Enchantress in the bedroom? Oh, oh fuck yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he, he didn't have to get it or turn. I think Enchantress Black. probably wanted to pop out. <laughs> or Amanda wow. Waller just scared him during sex. He's with June Moon, and then she just pokes the heart. He's like, ah! <laughs> it's right <laughs> in the middle. That would be something. Yeah. Good uh, April Fool's Day prank. Yeah. Yeah, the people come back for two are uh, Margot Robbie, Captain Boomerang, and Rick Flagg, and I think that's it. Will Smith, not because of scheduling conflicts, but they didn't, they're not recasting Deadshot, so they're leaving that door open. Um... I don't think there's anyone else, though. I think the rest are all gone or... Not bringing characters. Killer Croc back? No, no. Wasted opportunity. Yeah, seriously. See, I, li- I like all the stuff with him and his daughter, though. Yeah. It's good stuff. John Cena, 16-time world well, champion, is going to be in Suicide Squad 2. Dun, 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 dun. I hear they're casting Jinder Mahal as... <laughs> I'm not Next. sure who. Number three. Maybe as Killer Croc. He's playing Bane. The new Bane. The new Bane. I'd be <laughs> so down for that. <laughs> Yo, June uh, Moon with those weird ass glasses. Ider Elba is gonna be in the next one. I oh, think there's one other big guy, big star, but I can't remember. Ider Elba. Yeah. Yeah, it's Jesus. kicking up after Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, and he's moving up. Well, he did do Thor in between. Remember? Yeah, that's true. He's, he's everywhere. Amdal. <laughs> he's looking for a hit because he has been screwed. The both defender times. of yeah. Bleach. <laughs> I don't know why she says that. I don't like that line because she's, she's in red. She's just fucking with her. She has one red top. <laughs> <laughs> One's all you need. Killer Croc growling. Doing oh. push-ups, too. That, oh, is look at that, form. that is not good <laughs> form. That is not good form. Look at that. <laughs> he has danky legs <laughs> hanging out. Like like all in his back. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely is cheating there. <laughs> and the way they made it sound like he doesn't have... Uh, in my mind, in these type of villains, like a Hulk, this and that, the Hulk doesn't have to work out on his spare time to get that jacked. He's just naturally... No, but it helps. Ja- <laughs> true, right? He's trying so. to slim down for form. Tighten up. The thing that is I don't like about Killer Croc is when they do take a shirt off, he's a relatively small actor, so he's not that big. Yeah, he's quite. He's like tiny. four foot seven or something. And for the lines, <laughs> so, yeah. the amount of dialogue <laughs> he has, they should have just got a bodybuilder to play Killer Croc. So yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Jinder Mahal, Jinder get him Mahal, in there. maybe. It's like ten feet tall. Is Jinder Mahal a wrestler? Hell yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, yeah. I'm not familiar with him. So would you say you could foreshadow for seventeen? <laughs> Because you, sh- cause you said you could foreshadow predict that something was going to die because they didn't give him an intro like yeah. the rest. You knew they, that. They just put said, the put, burrito. The, put the burrito down. What the Jeez. fuck? That was annoying if they would have introduced him at the beginning. They really love this shot the second time we've seen it. I'm sure it comes up again. He looks like he's got like a NPC thing above his head. He's the king like of the hill <laughs> right now. You have oh, to kill him and you'll become him. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a health bar. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't me. El Diablo, he's found God. He so kind of sounds like John Bernthal. <laughs> kind of. It would have been much preferable if this was played by John Bernthal. I, I hope, though, that we may have never got Punisher, though, right? So I'm glad it didn't happen. Yeah, that's true. And there's a chance, Foggy. I mean, I'll take Punisher any day. Foggy, come on. You want to bring him back. You know it. You know you want John Bernthal in your movies. Do it, Foggy. Yeah. Don't be a bitch. If you do it, that's the ultimate boss move. If he brings back him and Cox, I'll be very happy. What would you say? Him and Cox. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you said something else. <laughs> they bring back his god. <laughs> Look at this fucking camera angle. It's kind of weird. <laughs> he's saying he's not a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> he just bye. Oh. Bye with fire. Fucking burn. Get he, it? he could do emojis as well. He doesn't have 100%. to. Just he can do it all. <laughs> <laughs> he, they really, he should be hired for like children's parties. <laughs> He'd be a great clown. So she knows he's found God. You know, yeah, he, doesn't I mean, he doesn't look scary at all. He doesn't look like a criminal. No. So. Honey, we couldn't get Robin, so I got El Diablo. Uh, he makes fire emojis. <laughs> <laughs> he can light the cake. He can say bye with fire. <laughs> yeah. Look at that big fucking American flag on Rick Flag's oh, yeah. head. That is in his name, right? You know? Sure is. His, la- got, his name I is guarantee he's got a tattoo. For some reason, he got the Bethesda flag. logo on, <laughs> on his, his jacket, too. On his ass cheeks, <laughs> Look at the look at his left arm. You see that? When he passes gas, the flag like waves. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, his name is Mr. Flag, too. You know, that's... You know. Monsoir. <laughs> Griggs. Not, this would not make That guy looks sense. like a discount Maz Mickelson. He's got the kind of... The face, you know? Look at that face. See? He you does see look the like... Lips? Yeah. yeah. He's got the Mads lips. The highly European look. Jesus. Unnecessary. Clear my browser history. But that was the rumor. He was watching Squad. That apparently after <laughs> BVS, they did a lot of reshoots and added in lots of humor because that was everyone's complaint about BVS was that it was too dark. I don't think that's the problem with BVS. It's just the fact that, again, we still saw a Joker. It was a massive hit, reviewed well. It's people just like, oh, it's too dark. It's not that. It's because it was very, had a lot of story issues. So Yeah. But Warner Brothers took the wrong issue and was like, oh, People didn't enjoy it because it was too dark and dreary. That's not it. I think they just wanted a great story. So that's why there's a lot of humor added in here. Hip hop music playing. By Kanye, the king, oh, yeah. coming in here. Watch I, the throne. I was a big fan. I think I'm, I won't say top 10, but I'm a big fan of Black Skinhead and that whole album of Yeezus. I think it's pretty underrated. I think it's pretty overrated, honestly. Have you listened to it, Dylan? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? I listened to it this morning. Actually. I think it's underrated. <laughs> But I also think Life of Pablo is overrated now that I listen to Overrated. Yeah. Wow. I think it's underrated as well. That's yeah. so good. People, not people don't talk about it. Yeah, but like the people that do talk about it, they say that it's like their favorite album by him, and I would have to disagree. I won't go that far, but it's yeah. in the top three for me. Yeah, okay. I'd love to play Call of Duty with Black Deadshot. Skin. Really? Oh. Like, you see how he unloaded as his Deadshot? gun? Maybe he on your team. His, he flipped his uh, AR to the side, and the mag just shot out, and he clipped another one in there. Like, Hell just yeah. so sick. But you'd want him on your team, right? Oh, 100%. But wouldn't he just take all the kills then? That's okay. We'd win. I get that XP. Also, uh, only cares just a quick oh, shout yeah. out. Go watch the Wolf of Wall Street t trailer. They use Black Skinhead for that, and it's one of the greatest trailers of all time. So just a shout out. Okay, enough talking about Kanye. All right? Let's move on. <laughs> He's a great man. Fuck Rick Flag, dude. His character's so lame. I love Joel Kimmon. Good actor. Go check out Altered Carbon. Altered Carbon. You need to white people that thing. What does that mean exactly? What do you think it means? Here? Take a guess. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Get I love talking on. to people like next to the person that I'm yeah. looking at. I do that all the time. I like though. calling people Aaron Boy too. Yeah. Like right Whenever now I'm I go to Tim Hortons, thanks for the coffee, Aaron Boy. <laughs> I That's, walk out. That sounds like a Tony McGuire in Spider Man 3 <laughs> when he's evil. Yeah. Like, thanks, Aaron Boy. <laughs> what are you going to do? you going to cry? <laughs> <laughs> Want forgiveness? Take up religion. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to get there, but we're doing the first one this year. <sighs> <laughs> oh, the same that, World that's War II. fitting for where we are right now. Yeah, it's not even no World kidding. War Three though. Overblown. Like America's getting fucked up. Are they though? Well, I, mean, I think that kind of happens later, doesn't it? Are you implying that you know things? Uh, I don't know. Do you know things? Did know. you learn things in Vegas? Sure did not. You were behind closed doors. It's true. Look at that badge location. I wouldn't. I feel like that the would. What? The badge location. Okay. I'm not going to ask what you thought I said. You thought you said vag. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm like, why? Did they just I have show a speech impediment. Yeah. Oh, we're back. And why does he have a smile drawn to his face? You don't do that when you lose your girl? <laughs> I, I do that a lot, actually. <laughs> oh. It doesn't help. Is that Tom Hardy? <laughs> <laughs> that took a long time for him to lay all those knives out. Knives out. Knives, knives out. out. And it's Armis. Let's go. Yeah, show us Anna Darmer. She needs to be in this movie. She would have been a great Catwoman. She would have been. She will be. Ooh, the power of positive thinking. They're gonna, they're gonna kick out what's her face, Zoe Kravitz. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, she lost the role to her, but I, I think she's gonna be in a comic movie in the next five years. She's after it. I think there's a lot of like fans that really well, enjoy this laugh. part. A uh, lots of people do. It's very like <laughs> bro. The baby clothes. <laughs> yeah. Ba <laughs> people point the that out. The little croak at yeah. the end. <laughs> It's like uh, Lando. Lando. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Rise of Skywalker. laughs> Fuck Lando. It's Griggs. Oh, it's this scene. I've watched this on YouTube many times, actually. Why? Shirt. The Just because <laughs> I've always found it kind of funny. <laughs> the interrogation part. <laughs> this part? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because he comes in and he's like uh, snorting, right? He's growling. Yeah, growling. That to me just shows. Uh, yeah. I want to get a Bengal tiger shirt like that. 
And I liked Bengal the Bengal tiger. I liked the panda, like big foam head people. The the people that Joker walk in with aren't the type of people I thought Joker would be hanging around with. Like this type of vibe to me, it's always really crazy ass people. But clearly, that's not like you know they're not going with that. They're going with suit people and suit people. Yeah, people with suits. Mm-hmm. Yo, slick. Yo, slick. I'm like him. I didn't know what the fuck was going on when I saw this. Oh, no. Chet's going to get you hurt. No, Taylor. <laughs> don't, don't do this. <laughs> Snarl the, one. The damage tattoo in full yeah. force. Snarl two. Even the director after the movie admitted and he said maybe the damage tattoo was a mistake and they went too far. Oh, maybe like, that yeah, was too think, far. That was too far. I could have taken the... There's like seven things that are too far. It's true, but that is the most egregious one that they chose. Can you name all seven things? Well, to me, it's just like the acting choices from Jared Leto like <laughs> ten times over. And I know so many people be like, oh, that's the role he was given. No, if you look at both interviews with him and the director, the role changed immensely when he got the role. So I think a lot of that is Jared Leto's, uh, put, like, his input. Look at this fucking guy just throwing <laughs> down a <the> chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> just in her sleep, eh? So is it only know. when she says it that she can pop yeah. out? Yeah, I guess so. See, they want to do the kinky stuff. Oh, yeah. He takes out his phone. <laughs> As per scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, June Moon. June Moon. June. <laughs> Dylan's June. loving this. Luke. Pretty badass. What's happening right now, Taylor? Oh, uh, Enchantress just popped into the head evil lady's room to get her Amanda heart. Amanda Waller. She's not evil. Amanda Waller. She's the main evil. evil. She's, she's not. Evil. She's trying. Th- she has good. She methods. kills her own staff members in that room. That's pretty evil. It's true. I don't think she's evil yet. She's evil. Oh, look at she found a textbook. She's going her after soul. her brother. They made it seem like this was just so easy. Like, 100%. why didn't this happen years why ago? Why didn't she do this right when she got captured? Yeah. That would hurt See, like, so much. See, like, all the much. CGA stuff with her, I like. For at, the, at least this for point now. in time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for cool. now. Who is this actor that got his big shot at playing the brother? <laughs> big shot. <laughs> that yeah, this is a big shot role. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you get cast as the Joker, that's a big shot. Cast as CGI brother. This has so skyrocketed him to massive success. <laughs> yeah, what's his name, Taylor? I don't know. Exactly. That's you. No, I have no <laughs> idea who he is. Duke Orwell is his name. <laughs> Duke Orwell. But they worship us. Do you really think they worship you after you've fucking been in a coma for like billions of no, years? No, I think he said they. he's implying they were like what happened. Oh. Why don't they anymore? He's Because they've been locked away for thousands or hundreds of years or something like that mm. so he's about to pop off now and become yeah CGI he's gonna become the equivalent of Rainbow Road in a second like we the road r- in Mario Kart yes oh Jesus <laughs> this guy's poor life <laughs> <laughs> fucking Rick Flag maybe he's just execute it right now you know it's true get it over with yeah, I, I agree <laughs> is it worth the hassle I don't know are you going to have kids with this demon lady? Probably not. Worth so. a try, honestly. Rick Flagwell. Oh, yeah. He's putting up with anything. Oh, yeah. See, even her, she's saying, yeah. shoot me, you know? He's like, so weak in this <laughs> film. <laughs> yeah, oh but let's gosh. let's say you were in the situation Emily was Enchantress. Would you listen Different? to her? No, no, no. Difference is he started dating her well knowing there's a fucking demon inside her. Remember? They found okay, her let's in say, that Let's say that context. That'll then. come out later in a few you years. St- you obviously started dating <laughs> Emily when she became Enchantress. I'm a sucker, so yeah, I would have <laughs> fell for the girl at the demon inside <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, oh, let's see how this plays out. So I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's something unique, right? But it's it's that expression, right? You know, like, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Mm. I'm telling the people out there, you know, put her down. Me? I don't know if I could. Oh, so the brother, he's on a train station. He's just convulsing right now. Sometimes you just got to convulse. Yeah. The eyes are up. 
the eyes are rolled back and <laughs> yeah, that's the back. word. The eyes are up. The eyes are up. So we're about a half an hour in. We still haven't seen slip sh- slip shot. Slip 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 shot. Slingshot. Sling sloop. Sling sloop. This doctor is gonna like be the first to die. Most. And his yeah. compressions were not that good, I think. Nope. Oh, we got tentacles, baby. Yeah. So he's feeding on innocent people right now. You know your movie's legit when you have tentacles in it. Here we go, Rainbow Road. He just turns in the metal. He's yeah. like the is destroyer this from Thor. It only took three. Whoa. Maybe it's not as rainbow as I remember. I thought he was a lot more colorful. He just killed like 200 people right there. Oh, yeah. One That's a second. lot of feeding. He's hungry, boy. Mm-hmm. All right. This guy's here. Let's send in the boomerang. Task guy Force after. X. His first assumption was Task Force X without sending anything else. Like, well, ba- well, who else would you send? Batman doesn't X-Force. work with them. Oh, wait. Different universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Batman doesn't work with <laughs> Harley Quinn is working her way out. She has a shiv. A toothbrush shiv. Who would you send, Taylor? Who would I send? Yeah, Batman's not going to work with them. Uh, uh, at this point, we know uh, you have the Flash, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman, which would be hard to get a hold of, but they've already fought, and you know they're out in the open. Well, I guess the way is they can't control them, right? They can control these people. Why couldn't they control the Flash and all them? Don't ask me. The DC is a fucking mess, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm trying Just to defend it, but... Threaten war on Atlantis if Aquaman doesn't Somehow help you. Somehow Amanda Waller can't find these people, but when we watch BBS, Lex Luthor has a fucking USB drive of every oh single yeah, superhero in the world. Us. Lex Luthor could have put together a better team. <laughs> but I guess that's the point of the Justice League movie, right? Is more threats are coming up, so we have to get together. So, I guess... <laughs> so Griggs just said, is that the new guy? Did he mean Slipknot? No, like the new employee. Oh. The intern. Interning to be a prison guard. So right now they're putting the uh, explosive devices on them. Yeah, which I imagine could come back. Well, I can't remember at the end of this movie if they get rid of them or not. I can't remember. They probably it, get rid of them. If they don't get rid of them, that could come back in number two because it's an easy, easy way. Shout out to... Uh, you one, one, one of them, one of them deaf hoes. <laughs> yeah, they're injecting Croc. Wow. Did they even make a deal like with Croc? I feel like they only talked to Deadshot. He talked to him quickly. Rick Flag did yeah. to kill a Croc. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, he's yeah, like, I'm not now. scared of you. Yeah. Are the not are the soldiers not concerned that he just slipped her a <laughs> cell phone from Mr. J? I don't think they saw it. Wow, fucking shitty oh, army people. It's very, like, hand-wavy. They've got a lot on their minds, okay, Taylor? <laughs> oh, no, this scene. I don't remember this scene. Yeah, It's nothing huge. It's just I don't like... Uh, Is that Ken Wong? Oof. Ken Hong? <laughs> I don't know his last name. <laughs> Here comes Jello's Joker. He's his crocodile jacket. But there's just this moment. I love that touch of a guy wearing a Batman mask. That's fun. Just this moment coming up here is just more overacting. So they're trying to get this. Uh, this puts up a tablet. <laughs> they <laughs> they have his wife. This guy's wife. Oh, well, that's pretty guy. clever, you know. I mean, I feel like that was just like they, they didn't need it to be. I don't know, bulletproof. They could have just broke through it. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, it just seems too like really weird that they yeah. know this guy's working and like they really can't get past him. This looks neat. I hate I hate this performance. It's this so tough neat. to watch. These guys aren't doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, they all suck at dodging, for sure. Yeah. Dodging a massive <laughs> angel. Roll, they didn't roll. even try. They That's just true. tried to shoot at him. They tried to parry when they should have dodged. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go prone. <laughs> when he's going like that, you can't block his attacks. You need to roll. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, the the Amanda <laughs> lady has no idea that her freaking totem pole or her immunity idol is missing from her storage room. She was asleep. Yeah, but you think she would like check it out and see where's my immunity idol? Because Black. now she could con- she could have confirmed that okay, this is the brother and related to Enchantress. I think they know that already. I think right. So then why would you send Enchantress they don't know in about there? The brother, do they? Oh, she's just stabbing the heart. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then look at this convenience right here. Wow, look at this fucking guy. This gives her an entirely new heart. Nice. Yep. Glad it's that worked out. Pretty for convenient. Oh, well, now, now she's the hybrid. Yeah, not, they hid this in the trailers, and we all know why. Because of this. Oh, no. Look at that. That's a cool helmet, though. Yeah. I don't know if you'd call it a helmet, but. Plus 12 to intelligence. 
So are these actually like <laughs> villains in the DCU? Yes. Were they ever Batman villains? Mm. Batman's fight a lot of people, but they're never specifically known as Batman villains. Mm. I think they're. I don't even know who. I'll look it up to see who like who Enchantress would be categorized as a villain. She could have been like a Just League, but let me let me take a look and see like who pops up first. She's quite powerful, so we're gonna get the poop troopers. The poop troopers. Yeah, the yeah. Poop, the putties. Yeah. Love CGI. You can do anything with it. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. That's one of the truest things Taylor's ever <laughs> said. Go watch the prequels. Let's see. She's a supervillain known for DC Comics. Her first appearance was in Strange Adventures. So, yeah, it doesn't really seem like she's really tied to... Is Strange Adventures just like a Justice League thing? It's just kind of like a bunch of stuff. Yeah. yeah so She's just a, a villain that's popped up here and there. She's got a bit... Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Why do they waste screen time on that? She's been the worst day of my life. She's been tied to Justice League Dark, which is kind of like an underground Justice League that's, like, supernatural. So, uh. mm, there you go. Yeah, my knowledge on Enchantress is uh, very light. I'll tell oh, you Travis. Ooh, Here we yeah, go. I'm slipping. Sorry. Seven Nation Army. Yeah, they're really, they're really <laughs> pumping out that licensed music in this movie. They spent... The amount of money is ridiculous. Definitely. I'm, I want to listen to the soundtrack now, What though. is the budget <laughs> of this movie? Uh, 300 million? I can look, but I bet it's not fully reported because the massive reshoots they had, but I'll get an estimate. One of the best parts of the movie coming up right here. I just mean, be like, between casting and, like, music choices, like, this is probably a pretty expensive. A movie. lot of money, yeah. Plus, like, tons of CGI and shit. The only thing is that they... Scott, uh, Clint Eastwood's son. The only thing with Margot Robbie, though, is they did get her before she became a massive, massive star. She did do Wolf of Wall Street, but then after that, she was just a star. Now, I think she's mega star, but this was still yeah. on her, like, going yeah. up, I think. Like, after, yeah. other than Wolf of Wall Street, what could you name that she did in between that and this, Z right? for Zakaria. Is this Slipknot popping <laughs> out? <laughs> this is Slipknot. Slipknot coming out of the bag. Oh, no, it's Boomerang. Shit. <laughs> Oh, it's Boomerang? Just fucks yeah. that guy out. <laughs> but I think for Birds of Prey now, she gets a nice piece of change. Plus, she's also producing that movie as well. So she gets so twice. This came out before I, Tanya, I'm assuming? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This was 2016, yeah. This is fucking four years ago. What was I, Tanya? The budget. That wasn't uh, last year, was it? No, two Slipknot. Years ago. Two years ago. The okay. man who can climb anything. What a legendary <laughs> title. <laughs> <laughs> the man who can climb anything. Look at his hair. She had a mouth. So reported budget is about 175 million. I bet it was more than that. Plus, you always got to double a budget because of advertising and whatnot. So the budget of this was probably around 300 to 350 million. So it was a quite a expensive. But it did movie. well in the box office. Yeah, almost 800 million. It was it was a massive hit when yeah. it came out. It was huge. So it's a great movie. Good for them. Yep. I do. Th I do think this is a very mainstream movie. That you, It's a popcorn movie. I think that's why it yeah. was a big hit. You got characters you know, like Joker. And people that didn't know Harley Quinn were probably like, oh, look, a girl Joker. That's fun. And then people saw Will Smith. Will Smith. They're like, exactly. I'm in. Yeah. They, <laughs> and they use Batman and Joker in trailers, right? So, And mm. I think it is a dumb just action movie that you don't have to pay attention to. So I think that's why it was in summer. Oh, let's go see Suicide Squad. Yeah. Oh, sure. You, know, you hear like, those songs. You're like, oh, right on. Oh, exactly. I know right? this one. Yeah. And then every teenage girl in middle school and high school is obsessed with Harley Quinn because I'm one of those that still go to Hot Topic. I found the Birds of Prey jacket. It's $100. Oh, yeah? I'm not going to buy it yet, but I want to find an excuse to buy it because I can't wear it in public. How much is it? It's $100. Oof. Yeah. But the Black Mask Maybe stuff is bad. great, so I'm excited to buy that stuff. You got some Eminem Friends. on the screen? Oh, now? yeah. Drop a new album uh, Thursday. Yeah, just – well. I haven't listened to it yet. Yeah, Apparently it's pretty Ghost good. dropped it out of nowhere. Yeah. I'm sure it's quite bad. Ooh. Hmm? Damn. What? What'd you say? I oh, say I thought that. that was Katana. When does Katana come into this fucking movie? Um, when they get on the helicopter. Oh, and look she, at that sweater. It was velvet. I love that yeah. sweater. The Croc's getup is sweet. Pudding. And by the tattoos, too, you brought them over there. Not great either. I'm kind of still mad. In oh, there it is. In Birds of Prey, she still has a lot of those uh. tattoos. So I don't know if she still has the rod in one, though. Probably not. I think she did get rid of a few because there's some Joker ones take off. And they Whoa, say that's because Margot of Robbie. Uh, they say that's because of she's done with Joker and whatnot. So I'm not a big fan of this attire. Not because like oh it's like objectifying women. I'm just not a big fan of the look. I like the look she has in Birds of Prey more. Obviously, I like the classic yeah. look. So 
I, I think I that just like looking at Margot Robbie. Oh, no, yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to disagree with that, but I think it helps that there's a female director in Birds of Prey that can actually style female where we have dude bros making this movie. And it's like, let's dude just put bros. her in fucking panties pretty yeah. much, you know? So, which is nice, but you didn't need that the whole movie. You didn't. I'm always, I'm down to see butts. I'm down to see some dicks. I think I'm down to see butts. I'm down to see dicks. I, I think 100% this decade, male nudity needs to be a bigger thing. How many decades have we have a female show and everything? We got to see some dicks around, True, where too. Where the dicks so, at, you know? You know so, Team so dick Robert here. Pattinson's Batman open up just the full-on dick just shot. Masturbating in the fucking lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. I feel like bats. all you really get, though, is like, to- like topless shots. And maybe ass shots. Like Margo did full front on Wolf of Wall Street, though. That is true. Actually, yeah. I forgot about that. And that's what I mean. Can you name me like the last time you saw a dude do full frontal? I bet uh, you can. S- I'll just say shame. I'll throw that movie shame. out there. Have I, you I've, seen I haven't it? seen it, but yeah. I know you told me that there's Forgetting some dick Sarah in there. Marshall. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, but it's very rare. Right? Uh, Midsommar saw some dicks. Yeah, true. <laughs> Chef Ari Aster. Yeah, true. Yeah. A lot of dicks in that movie. <laughs> A lot but of one dick. But it's a good <laughs> equal balance, right? Yeah. Like there's a bunch of naked women, a bunch of naked dudes. There might be more dicks in that movie than there are the women's yeah. stuff. I think you're right, no. though. I think we're going to start seeing more dicks in I this decade. I hope so. More female directors, too. You're forgetting like the fucking the scene, the sex scene. Yeah, that's a lot. When dick, there's like, right? Oh, no, it's a well, lot. there's one dick, but then there's like that's 20 true. women standing around that's all true. naked. 20 women dicks in there. 20 women dicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild movie. <laughs> I am the light. The light is mine. Taylor Gerard. So they even again, capitalized it. Oh, they said it. Oh my god. Once again, oh, to remind man. the crowd, Taylor loves when they do that in movies, but he says in songs when they do that, it's a cop out. It's cheesy. Fuck you. Don't understand. <laughs> it's cheesy. Oh, here she is. She has a cool look. I like her mask. Yeah. She's in the show now, isn't she? The I think I saw her on like one of the she's DC in the CW shows. Verse. Yeah. yeah, she's been for a while. It's like for the sake of this movie, though. It's like where the fuck does she come from? You know, just out of nowhere. She comes from here in Japan. Well, thanks, Taylor. I mean, <laughs> I can. I feel like she should have made an appearance in that uh, Wolverine movie, even though it's a different uh, comic book. On oh, the Wolverine comic. movie, yeah. Is well, that yeah. one just called the Wolverine? It is the Wolverine. It's on Disney Plus yeah. now. Or she could have been with Ronan in. Uh, See next uh, yeah. second shelf on the top there. <laughs> I got the Wolverine. This is Katana. It's so good. She's just standing there stiff. <laughs> <laughs> no, clearly you should not kill them as they're part of the mission. <laughs> yeah, Margot's so good. She won uh, Best Actress, Golden Geeks, that year. Mm-hmm. Spirit role. in the Sky up next. Yep. I couldn't believe that they used this song because they use this in Guardians, and I was like, Yeah, true. Hey. I know it's not like exclusivity for songs, but when you have a ragtag group of team get together, I don't know. Just don't use it. And they've done it in comic books. I was actually quite happy they didn't. Ooh. Put, ooh. They vomits. didn't make Harley and Deadshot a couple. I did that in the theater actually when I was watching this <laughs> party movie. file. Indistinct radio chatter. What do you think they're talking about? You can never know, honestly. It's like I can't believe I'm in this movie. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> With AKs. Bad actor, too, but yeah, we're not true. talking about that. Wow. Oh, they wow. Take incredi- that, Rick Flag. They pulled an Incredible Hulk, though. They didn't inform the team what they're going into <laughs> at all. Makes more money than he does. You'll cut and run. I'm a soldier. Bro. You'll, You'll cut, cut and run, run bro. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm I'm starting to see your point, Dylan. He's awful. I didn't mind it like the first time around, but he's so I'll cringy. Watch the killing with Joel Kinnaman. He's I'm not saying he's a bad actor. I'm yeah, saying he's just an awful character. Oh boy. Harley Quinn was not. Harleen Quinzel, actually. <laughs> Dr. Harleen Quinzel, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I hate that name so much. Why? Harleen? Harleen or Quinzel? Quinzel? It's just Why? such a cringy comic book y name. Wow. That one's not wrong. In my opinion. I like Harleen. I write it off because it's a comic book, but in real yeah. life, in a movie like this, no, it's not. Like, I mean, if I heard that that was her name, and then I heard that 
they call her Harley Quinn. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But the, hearing it the opposite way is like, no, it doesn't do it for me. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I feel like I like Harleen, but yeah, Quinzel's yeah. a little bit. It's a little over the it top. It was faith that she'd meet the Joker guys. You know? Like that's that's how you would jokingly come up with a name for what her <laughs> actual name yeah. is. Yeah. That's like, nope. It's like, what's your name? Uh, they probably wrote it in like the 50s though. So it's like, eh, whatever. 90s. 90. Really? She wasn't until the 90s? No, she didn't debut. She's Holy from shit. the animated series. She was in the comics. Oh, right. That's true. She when did uh, when did uh, Batman and Joker or originate? That was uh, like Batman's in the 40s era? Or no, he's 60s and Joker's kind of somewhere in the 60s, too. Yeah. Joker was planned to be a one-off. They killed him off in the first issue. Were they the first DC characters? Who's the Superman. First? Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Batman came and then kind of spread. Batman and then Wonder Woman and then the rest kind of came here and there. But yeah, those three, that's why they're the Trinity. They were the first of them. And Batman started in something called Detective Comics first, and he used a gun back in the day. Terrible design that he had going on. So Captain Boomerang just butchered Slipknot here, telling him it's all mind games. This is hilarious, yeah. So here we go. You can climb anything, guys. Boomerang's just dumb, and he didn't know that was going to (laughs) happen. Here's Slipknot's The man who can climb anything. (laughs) <laughs> He's so slow too, <laughs> and Slipknot's dead. Oh my god! <laughs> See, I don't think he knew that that was gonna happen. Holy, is there a predator? Not a good line. Not a good line. <laughs> yeah, that's so bad. Like, you obviously, the purpose is to, like show to the characters what happens, but like, man, that was such an awful solution. Especially when he goes problem. from one villain to the next. <laughs> yeah. You look so bad. Yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you think many people got the Hollywood Squares reference that were quite younger? What did they say? I they it. said, "Oh, we're gonna play the Hollywood Square versions of blow mm. your head up." If you like, if we keep going, do you guys know Hollywood Squares? No, is? I, I do. I do know what it is. I've never. Dylan listened. Taylor. I don't know what you're no. talking about. Exactly. So Hollywood Squares was this game show back in the day where they had a bunch of celebrities sitting in these squares, and okay. you get a question oh. and you pick a celebrity to answer for. You. If they got right, your money goes yeah, up. Yeah. yeah so. That's what that was. That's what I mean. So it is clearly a dated yeah. reference already. And uh, I, I just didn't know that it had a name. Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually. I think that's the first time I ever heard that line because we have subtitles. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think I'm just always in awe that that's what they did. This slip right. I'm laughing. Look at the super predator hunting them down. Oh, Zerker yeah. predator. Oh yeah. <laughs> there is. A, I, Taylor still hasn't read it. There's a great Batman versus Predator comic book. That'd be sick. I was gonna comment on it, but yeah, I, I, wa- I wanted to wait a little no, bit. Kirkland I don't <laughs> think the, I don't think the camera can see it. No. So it's Kirkland not was just letting me look like a fool. Thank you, Dylan. Like a fool, a fool of a took. <laughs> yeah. Throw it into the fire. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spread the word. Spread the word. So right now in the movie, they're kind of just wait, you wait. know Slipknot <laughs> just died, and they're all kind of patrolling through the dark alley. They're here. also planning to try and get out. That's yeah. what they don't want to do this and. Even though they just saw a guy's head get yeah, blown off, they're exactly. like, right, five seconds later, like, yeah, let's get out of here. It's just like, wait for a better opportunity, maybe, but. And, like, it was his plan that just got slipshot killed. He's doing it again, Slingshot. too. He's going yeah, to yeah, El yeah, Diablo. Exactly. El Diablo, you should go next. <laughs> Come on, do the bastard. Do oh, the bastard. Nice Australian accent there, Mr. Field. Oh, yeah. Do it again, Taylor. Come on, do the bastard. Come on, then. That's <laughs> How can you be a cannibal if you're not even human? Holy shit. That's well, he's point. humanoid, and he eats humans, right? Mm, oh. The man who said that it's the human Harleen side of them. Quinzel just got shut down by Diablo. El Diablo. But let's just say you're a Khajiit, and you're eating uh, well, you're a not Nord. You're you not cannibalizing. That's a good point. You're still that's a humanoid. True. Feline. That's true. That's a philosophical question for another day. Cannibalism only applies to eating a member of your own race. There you go. Species. Hmm. So when you eat aliens, that's cannibalism for you? No. Well, <laughs> I mean, it depends how you look yeah. at it. Which aliens? Yeah, which aliens was it? <laughs> <laughs> which aliens was it? <laughs> C2. What is the operational load? <laughs> The operational Just load. Just stranding. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that game's all about operational Ashton Kutcher? loads. So yeah, that's Ashton Kutcher. Clint Eastwood's son has a lot of like nice little subtle nah, scenes here. I didn't what? know he was in this movie. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Scott Eastwood. Scott Eastwood. Clint Eastwood's son. Is. He's also in Fast and Furious. Well, Did he play Qu- Clint Eastwood in a film, or am I mistaken? I think you're mistaken. Okay. You're mistaken. So they couldn't get Clint Eastwood for the movie. They went for his son. 
That's no, what I usually I do. I think they wanted a replacement for <laughs> Paul Walker. Oh. They wanted like generic <laughs> white guy number one. Mm. Generic. I white thought it was guy. Liam Hemsworth at first when I saw him. That's generic white guy number yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's when they can't get Chris. He's, the, he's like, the bench warmer yeah. for. <laughs> All right, get Liam, white guys. I guess. I feel like the thought of like, like the choreography, I guess you could say, of like how they go through the city streets is just there was just no consideration. Like I feel like they had like two streets and they just kind of shoot from yeah. different angles. It also makes no sense for the good guys or army to go up Forward. first yeah. and then leave all the criminals behind you. <laughs> One, I feel like the criminals are supposed to be the pawns, and two, do you really want them behind you? You know, but and like the bodyguard was up with them. Like yep. why wouldn't they? Yeah. Stupid movie. I feel like she, <laughs> <Stupid yeah. movie. laughs> I feel like she shouldn't even be with them. Like she should be like up on the rooftops. Yeah, just your watching. one job is to watch these yeah. fucking <laughs> the lunatic people. No, dad shot. That how many? Movie. How much time exactly do you think Slipknot had on screen? Less than probably five about minutes, three not minutes. even a minute. I don't think. No, but it, like even in the in the in the airplane, like just in the background or something. Like, he was probably in a couple shots there. Right? I didn't even maybe. see him on the plane. I'd say maybe, like, 57 seconds. 57 you might seconds. be right, though. Rose Tico was only in Star Skywalker for 72 seconds, and yeah. it felt longer than that. So, yeah. you might be, honestly. Let's see if I can find it. I'd say here. less than two minutes, easily. I'm thinking, like... I'll say a minute 13. I'm thinking minute 14, yeah. Oh. So, the Pooh Monsters have just popped into play here. Yeah. Shouts to Pooh Monsters. Huge firefight. I love me some fighting. You love fighting. Do you like I feel like they had absolutely no strategy going into this battle. Like no. they're all just kind of in miscellaneous spots. Do you like this scene in particular? I feel like this is a very generic. I do like fighting. this scene just because Croc's going to town okay, and you get some enough. cool the uh, dead shots. They're stuff. in a firefight, but the fire guy isn't doing anything. Do you think about that, Taylor? Say what? <laughs> Say what? They're in a firefight, but. The fire guy isn't doing anything. Ew. I, I like that. Elbow. I didn't notice that. He's just walking to the the Seven Eleven oh, to get some Captain chips. Boomerang. The unicorn's his, out. His uni, his unicorn. Yeah, fell enough there. people don't care about Slipknot's screen time, so I haven't been able to. We could have been those people. <laughs> we could have been those people. Up. We, we should have timed ball. it. Yeah, I'll have to watch this movie again. How quickly he dies. Very well, it's actually not that quick, but like, from when he's from when he enters the movie to when he dies is like a twenty minute period. Back. Harley Quinn's happy because, yeah, he's about to die, which is not true though. Well, the Amanda would have killed them, right? I mean, she's got he the doesn't detonators. know that for sure. Yeah, yeah like you better, better, but no, Amanda said that if Rick Flag yeah, dies, was a then quote, I yeah. will kill you all. Come on, Travis. So this movie is really well written. Okay. I just thought <laughs> yeah. that at this point they kind of established that Rick Flag only had the one detonation bomb thing, right? I think it's a reveal <laughs> later on that Amanda Waller also oh, yeah. has one. I really hope he doesn't have the only one. <laughs> Script wise, like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I love this part. This is again, like, oh, Will Smith, look at you go. This is a good part with Deadshot. Yeah. He gets yeah. He's got an aimbot. Max for level, sure. prestige 10. That's such an aimbot. Yeah. Modded controller. <laughs> yeah. He let those turbo putties mode. go past him, though. <laughs> Just puts I'm all the army men to shame. I'm glad that army guy took a second to stop killing these putties to acknowledge, man, this Deadshot guy's good. He's got good aim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should ask him where he trains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pantene. Can't remember. Pantene? Pantene. I know he puts the Lotion? mask on one more time. But he does, yeah, when they're in like the building, I yeah, think. That's about it, though. He got his uh, uniform back. Rick Flag just getting shot down. Do you think that all the scenes that Cat Boomerang, like just regular scenes, do you think he always has the unicorn in his pocket? I think a lot of them, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> An emoji. Yeah. That's yeah. his emoji. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain Boomerang is just an asshole. Yeah. They no, didn't even um. tell their own men that it was monsters. Yeah, because Amanda's evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a cocksucker move. I get the criminals, but your own men, you send them into this thing just thinking they're a guy with guns. Like, what a bad maneuver. Rick Flagg's kind of an idiot, let's be honest. Yeah. 
Where's his flag that on his head? <laughs> Just like get a haircut with a flag in it. They're like really trying to build tension here, and it's just not working at all. <laughs> uh, Scott Eastwood survived with his guys. Get your boys moving. Does Scott Eastwood make it out of this movie alive? We'll find out. Mm. Dun dun dun. What do you think, Taylor? I think he makes it. I don't think you kill an Eastwood. I say he makes it out, and then the end credit scene is him older as Clint Eastwood. So oh, there you go. This movie is like a <laughs> sequel to Good, the Bad, the Ugly in some shape or form. <laughs> so these things are taking prisoners. Oh, look at the guy just crossing his arms. Look at the guy. He does kind of look like, uh, what's it called? The Destroyer from Thor. The Destroyer. Oh, oh they, they get to make out before they she die. Fuck, what a way to go. That's a way to go for sure. There's definitely worse ways to go. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they had to make it that they made out. She's kind of like a discount Galadriel, if you ask me. Galadriel? From Lord of the Rings. The elf queen. Who's like always whispering at Frodo. Oh, fuck, eh? She's creepy. She used to scare the shit out of me when I was younger. She is scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shouts to Margot Robbie. Margot. We're going to try to get her on the podcast this year. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> I'll slide into her DMs. Patreon <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> you got to support us on Patreon, yeah. What do we, what would we do if we had her on the show? We just ask her about suicide. We'd re just be like we this. would reenact and record a new version of Suicide oh Squad. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't <laughs> get nowhere near a celebrity. <laughs> no, I would always do something fun with celebrities. I would never want to do like the, so, like, unless the agent says you got to be like, so, tell us about your new movie, The Brick. Do like a game show kind of stuff Why did or they something? pick The Brick? Put them in the gauntlet. That's what Put them <laughs> in the yeah, gauntlet. Yeah, gauntlet. That'd be really fun. Do a wrestling match. Get a play. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Signing up for a whole day. Yeah. <laughs> Just put her on a commentary track for Suicide Squad. Just That'd be something. I don't know, just, yeah, we love this movie. It's great. Yeah. Hear her take. What do you think about Slipknot, the character? Oh, that's the role I auditioned for first. Oh, man. There's a lot of crashed planes on this set. There's so many crashed planes. There's no public whatsoever. No. Usually you see at least one crash plane, but here we just got two crash planes. And right that's here. why, yes, at the end of because Taylor talked about this, but <laughs> it, it makes no sense why there is no superheroes around right now because this is such a huge issue that I do think a Flash would show up or even a Batman. He wouldn't be working with them, but he should be around of something this massive. That's why I thought keeping a Joker small... Oh, so here's a scene you guys have never seen before. It's Harley Quinn. So this is a flashback to after Joker's apparently broke the hospital. She's still Harley and Quinzel at this point. She's chasing down the... <laughs> oh, oh man. no. It makes no sense. What's not in this scene, though, is they took it out, I'm pretty sure, is he did hit her in this scene, which I liked. It's not because I like when I'm in abuse. I just like them establishing that Joker's <laughs> a bad person because in this movie, it just seems like... He's like he's a bad person, but it just seems like they're just completely in love. She loves him. They didn't make him toxic enough, in my opinion. <laughs> and that's what I mean. I don't understand. He's calling her a pain in the ass now. This feels like the version of the movie where they wanted him to be more the jerk Joker, but they just threw the scene in. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, it's good. Th oh. oh, yikes. I got chills I an in the bad ways. He's, he's u literally doing exposition for what the Joker character is in the comic books. I have an idea. <laughs> yeah, it gets it get worse. So Harleen just whips out a gun and pops yeah. that guy. Oh, I hate this line coming up. Oh! oh my God, it's so bad! <laughs> I'll be your oh, friend. Yeah. He sounds like Sheriff Woody. <laughs> he does. <laughs> you got a friend in me. <laughs> I got a snake my, in my boot. My heart scares you and a gun doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> His oh. fucking moans. <laughs> if you weren't so crazy, I'd think you're insane. 
But he's not killing her, which means you know he loves her, right? Do you? Well, I mean, otherwise Stitch. he would have killed her because he'd be like, fuck this crazy chick. She's following me. I'm just going to pop he's her. He's not a person, though. He's an idea. Well, so he's he's an he an doesn't idea. think that way. <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember I spent money for this extended edition. And I was like, <laughs> he Damn. bought it on the Xbox 360. <laughs> yeah, Damn. Yeah. That's pretty weird, man. And it was well, it's because I had a credit. Who the fuck left? buys a movie on a <laughs> gaming I, system? I had fifteen dollars left on. It. I had nothing to do with my three sixties or the PS4. You could have bought Spelunky <laughs> with that fifteen dollars and used it on fucking Suicide Squad extended cut. Hey, Spelunky, not as great as Margot Robbie. I gotta say that. You know, I'm I sorry. disagree greatly. <laughs> so if you could spend the night with Spelunky. Or Margot Robbie, you're gonna pick Spelunky. I would play Spelunky with Margot Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Spunkly loses Shows the co-op. Yeah. <laughs> Shows <laughs> the co-op. <laughs> this is an extended scene, so you guys could see this in the theater. She's just trying to talk to them, and they don't like her. She's being annoying. The camera's making sure they have her ass in the screen. Yeah, as of course. As possible, which is nice to see, but also unnecessary, you know? Yeah, I've, yeah. No, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with them objectifying Harley Quinn because she she's supposed to be a sexual character. I just think you got to do it, like, in the, the right way. You know, you got to do it in a classy way. Yeah. I always that's why I love Batman Returns because Batman Returns is this great thing of they make Michelle Pfeiffer this like sex symbol, but then they take it back quite a bit. They like find the right balance of it. And I think you got to do that. Yeah. And this scene is just pointless. She's just going around. Ooh, did she she's got a good read on people. Just, well, what did she used to do, Taylor? Uh, well, she was a psychiatrist, yeah. but a psychiatrist, you know. Well, I guess you get a good read on people. Did Whoa. she ever take her mask? She off took the, the mask ori- off. In the original? No, this is extended scene. Okay. I didn't know there was an actually actually an actress behind the mask. <laughs> thought it was, thought it was CGI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. A drunken stripper. That's quite. The, I feel uh, like strippers don't like give a. Uh, they profile. don't harass people. Like. Yeah, or give a profile yeah. to people, but you know. So they're in New York City, right? No, they're in. Uh, I think it it's Star called City Gotham. City? No, they're on Gotham. They're one of the fake. Wait, they're not in Gotham. No, they're not in Gotham. Oh. I swear That's to God, I actually thought they were. There was like like a store, and it said NYC on it, though. Well, it is not New York, though. They're always no. these NYC city, like NYC is what. Yeah, it's but said you can go there. to the mall in Kelowna and go to New York Fries. It doesn't mean you're in New York. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Touche. Yeah. I don't know if like real places exist in DC because they are always using like fake places that are always based off something like. Mm. This is probably Vancouver. So where's Wonder Woman in Wonder Woman 1874? 1884. Is she in, I don't know. Is I she in like Europe I or something? I thought she was in like Washington DC. Yeah. That's a yeah. real place. But I don't know if that's what it actually is or if it's like the equivalent mm. to. I haven't seen that movie yet, so don't you can't go. <laughs> you I've seen it. it. I've read the script. I can't, oh, good <laughs> for you. Where's that exclusive? I can't uh, release it. That's typically how I open blast doors as well. You might have taken it on there. To learn. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Shout out to Joker. So What's right up? now we're at that scene where <laughs> they're going into the skyscraper. And we're going to get that. I like this elevator scene a lot with Harley Quinn. Oh, I the music. hate it. You hate it, <laughs> yeah. really? It's such a huge cut. It's just super quiet. And then they just cut. It's just pop music. And she, yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah, it's, it's not great. What song is this? I don't know this one, actually. I'm close. Be ready. Ignore close. Reply. I thought that was Black Panther for a second. <laughs> I, I just think they n- needed a. How bad scene. was that thing at fighting? Oh, yeah. It just very weakly, like, tried to Pretty choke bad. her, but not enough that she was, like, disabled in any way. She's an anti choke device on. Yeah, that's true, actually. She's probably used to getting choked, so. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Harley Quinn. Ugh. Let's go, Harleen Quinzel. I like this scene because it shows, like, you know, more so how capable she is. Like, she's pretty badass. Yeah, I guess. It's just she just climbed a wall. It's an bro. awkward scene. Come, come, baby, come, 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 baby, come, come. Rick Flag just has that shot. very his much look is just not blending. It's very much bl- like the Nebula thing in a, in an Endgame, you know. It's not blending. Not blending. He's that just got that look. Like, damn, yeah. girl, you just did that. They really try to emphasize Nebula's ass in Endgame. It's true. That's their main goal of the movie, I think. I don't know if that's true. Watch the movie again. I'll Karen Gillan wants said. to star and direct a Batgirl. 
Star and direct. Star and yeah, direct. That was bold her? when I saw that. Oh, claim. yeah. That is very bold. <laughs> I don't know down. if she's directed, though, so maybe she has. She'd I'd be, be so gr- down. She'd Karen be great as great. Batgirl. She has mm-hmm. the look, but... Um, oh, Mass is back. Here we go. Oh. Oh, shit. He's got the mask on. That thing's scary. Oh, Croc, man. What are those grunts? Croc, man. So why did he put the mask on? Did he give a reason? Um, Probably not. Just because his character should have a mask. Yeah. He is Will Smith, so they got to show that face. Right, exactly. Anytime the stunt devil comes in, it's just like wearing a mask. He probably wasn't on set that day and like, ah, put on the mask. The stabbed. unicorn. It's stabbed Twice. the unicorn. Oh, oh it's stabbed money. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. That's badass. That's why you always carry money with you. It's got to be thick bills, though. Thick. Carry bills. those fives. Yeah. <laughs> they do have the highest density. <laughs> Rick Flag just keeps getting captured. And they got to save his ass. They're trying to capture Fuck the flag. flag. Dude. Oh. It's always like five of them Let's grabbing go. him and pulling him away. For sure, that was a trailer shot of them all. How come none of these flag? creatures are that. targeting Diablo? He just stands there. It makes no sense. <laughs> they don't see him. <laughs> he stands he's still. <laughs> yeah. Vision's based on movement. It's like <laughs> Batista, right? Yeah. And uh, Drax and uh, Infinity War. Mm. So here's something completely unrelated to this movie, but is it true that Robert Downey was nominated for an Oscar for his role in Tropic Thunder? Yes. You haven't seen Tropic Thunder, have you? I watched it last night with Connor. Did you enjoy it? He brought that up, and I was like, no, he wasn't. He wasn't nominated. Did you recognize Tom Cruise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's quite a character. <laughs> I love that movie. Do you know who he lost to that year? Who? Who? Downey lost to in supporting. What year was this? Uh, it came out 2008, so the Oscars mm-hmm. were 2009. I have no idea. Oh, was it Heath Ledger? It was Heath Ledger's Joker, yep. I feel like... Downey should have won it. <laughs> wow. Do people actually consider Just that kidding. a good performance? Like, e- Yeah, I think because it was pretty kind of risky to do, and he pulled it off, I huh. think, because I think that could have came off really offensive. He did say in his Joe Rogan interview, just did that he probably wouldn't do it now because the times yeah. was different. But uh, I think it was also just a year that everyone just knew we got to fill the other four because we're just giving it to Ledger. I don't think anybody else was really considered right. that year. He kind of swept I also it. watched this video last night on how the best picture – is awarded and it's a pretty wild process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very strange. I'm not a fan of it, but I think yeah, I think it could definitely like <laughs> people who have an agenda against a certain movie could easily just tank it. Tank it, yeah. yeah. Anyway, this definitely threw me I don't for a loop. The Oscars I wasn't when we're watching expecting Suicide the Squad. Oh, Suicide Squad did win an Oscar for best hair and makeup though. So there you go. It all <laughs> makes sense. There you sense. go. I wasn't expecting the HBT to be Amanda Waller. That surprised me. Yeah. Oh. Is this another extended no, scene? No, this is in the movie. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idea. <laughs> but this oh, is the thing. I'll be here for They're friend. wearing the same <laughs> they're wearing the same clothes. And he just the last Look at scene, his fucking lips. Wait, what the fuck is going on there? He just the la- the last Your scene he was telling her to go away. <laughs> But all of a sudden, they're back together here oh, at Ace <laughs> Chemicals. I mean, it if, doesn't you, make if you want to give it a stretch, maybe he was impressed that she killed the trucker. So then that shouldn't you end that scene with him being like, oh, maybe I do believe you, instead of him leaving her again? He drives yeah, away. Yeah, that scene wasn't in the movie, though, <laughs> so right? It's in this movie. <laughs> what does that mean? Desire <laughs> becomes surrender, surrender becomes power? It doesn't mean anything. It sounds like the Sith quote. Okay, <laughs> there is to no surrender. peace. He's trying to say in a very terrible written way that her surrendering herself to him is power for him mm. because he can control her, and that would you would trust her. Is then. it like a regular thing for Joker to say the same thing like four <laughs> times in a row? Not really, no. He does that a lot in this movie. Oh yeah, they they uh, do it, do it, do it. They do had it. a vision power, for the Joker. Power. I do love this track though of uh, uh I've forgotten it. I it's just gangster. I don't know who does it. That was an awfully better. shot sequence though. Yeah. Harley Quinn is gonna be blowing up Ace Chemicals in Birds of Prey, so that's a big Batman thing. Why would he want to go back into the chemicals? I guess because he like she proved his lo- her loyalty. So the colors that pop up is it like their blood. I don't know, man. It's like cause it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Holy shit! There's blue. He was de- he definitely would have belly flopped that, <laughs> and that would have hurt like hell. I guess it's their clothes. Taylor, oh, look, yeah. It's just he looks so greasy. And he has a massive back tattoo as well. 
I don't think this was a good uh, idea, this scene. Have you ever had <laughs> sex in a vat of toxic uh, chemical? Yeah. That's supposed to be bleach, it's pretty right? pretty enjoyable. <laughs> Fuck, that would no, burn. No, it's some sort of chemical. Oh, okay. Because like, it makes you crazy and it makes mm, your skin bleached. Okay. One of those DC chemicals. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to DC chemicals. <laughs> I love his honesty. She seemed out of not like yeah, Harley true. really there. She seemed like a normal person at that. Well, second, yeah, she's so supposed to. She has those. She has breaks. those vulnerable moments. Yeah. She sounded like the Duchess of uh, Brooklyn. Beirut. Of Brooklyn. Isn't that her? Like, the Duchess of Beirut. Is it Beirut? Yeah. Who are you talking? In about? Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Beirut, Beirut, something like that. I would, I would disagree with that character comparison. She it was supposed to be a joke, down. but okay. uh, he's on his phone, so he wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, so just put your phone away. <laughs> <laughs> We're working here, man. <laughs> We're working, working here, here, man. I'm working here. I'm working here. Yeah. Uncle Nicky and I'm working. I'm working here. <laughs> yeah. A yoga mom. Whoa. They actually can't take headshots. <laughs> they actually, we've seen them get shot in the head and they die. So she's talking about Satin Chantress, doesn't she? No, the the soldiers that she's yeah. making. The poop soldiers. The poop troop. The poopamons. I mean, it's because they have bad guy bullets and it works better against those bad guys. Bad guy bullets. Yeah. Bad guy bullets are special. Each one of them has special been ammo. kissed by Joker himself. So Sounds they're toxic. Cool. Yeah. Shut it down. She just kills these poor bastards. Spoiler. Yeah, we're not there yet, Taylor. I haven't seen this movie. You haven't seen this movie. Hard drive, a race complete. Jesus. How many like, people was that? They didn't need to die. How many people was that? Well, well, they did, six? I guess. Mm-hmm. It was For probably her. a full six. Eight, so or it could six be man six homicide. Eight. Yeah. yeah. Well, they knew too much. They all had families. Maybe. You don't know that. I assumed as much. They all had a mom. And a father. You don't know that. <laughs> don't, don't, you know. They could have all been orphans in an alleyway. They're all foundlings. Foundlings, Shout yeah. out to Mandalorian. Go check out our Mandalorian review. It's true. Check it out. Another good angle. Weren't there more soldiers? Where did all they go? Or where'd they all go? Oh. She's not dressed for the occasion. So who? Amanda Waller. <laughs> so yeah, we just got the reveal that the package was Amanda Waller, and they're all pissed because oh, it's her. I got this. You ain't got no beef. <laughs> ain't got no beef. Ain't got no beef. Ain't got no beef. Ain't got no beef. <laughs> beef. No beef. <laughs> I think it's kind of risky that she just like holds it and like holds it around. Yeah, like, just like one her slice thumb of could the hand. So easily tap that. Oh, she shoulder bump Kara Kar- Kar- Kroc. I do like that touch, but so I think we're about almost midway through the movie. I feel like shoulder bumping Killer Croc <laughs> is risky. Like it might poke you. Like you might. True. He probably yeah. deals damage when you hit him in like a video game. <laughs> but man, this movie sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, fans. But that's just how I feel. Watching this is. It's a drudge. A real hunk of hunk This is Joker, right? Yeah, he's about to come. Taylor <laughs> loves spoiling things five seconds. He does, <laughs> yeah. Love it. He's in the movie. Oh, this is when the bubble. I don't do it in movie theaters, though. <laughs> Bob's movie other people seen do. Jerry <laughs> 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 Lowe gets some great acting. Come up here again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's just in a different movie. Again, if this was Batman 66, like a. We're doing that again. I can say, okay, you know what? Jerry Lowell's doing a fun, like, parody, comedic version of the Joker, but... Comedic. Comedic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my like God. <laughs> He's, like, channeling Scarface or something there. Professor. <laughs> 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 you 
Yo, vibrating? Oh, no. So, yeah, Joker did just get rid of that thing for her. So maybe she doesn't have that in Birds of Prey. Or in Suicide Squad, too. So they're going to have to find another reason to um, get her back. Hello, baby. <laughs> Fuck. It even says on the thing, her face is like circled in green. It's showing and like, that. weren't they both just holding a gun right there when oh they're yeah. walking right just beside her? Well, yeah. they okay. What is the? Though, right? Did they explain that? I missed it. Explain what? Like why her thing doesn't blow up? The, they, the scientist was on board and yeah, he deactivated. Yeah, that when they came, oh, right. remember the iPad with his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolt, yeah that whole feel. iPad wife. See, this was fun. I like very Harley moment. She's swinging on the rope. And I can't unsee the fact that uh, Will Smith's fucking scarf just says the light is mine. Like that's all I'm picturing now. <laughs> Do we know what it actually says? Yeah, all I can see I'm the light, light this way or something like that. The, the light, light is mine. I think it says the light is this way. That's what it says. The mm. light is. It's pretty close to the legendary light. But I mine. swear oh, it said I am because remember I thought it said I am legend before. I am light. I am a We'll clip. have the answer before this. I am light. This is this very way. Harley Quinn right here. Very Arkham, very animated. Just her flipping on the rope having fun. It's like you know she's not actually dead. I mean, she is holding onto the rope. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's the clear giveaway right there. You know, they actually had her hanging from a helicopter suspended above a burning city. Real risky. Yeah, yeah, they had to burn the city to get that shot. She's a real purist, Margot Robbie. <laughs> she actually jumped in a vat of acid as well. <laughs> so. She actually spent a few days with Jared Leto. Yeah. Which is the worst of all <laughs> of all the things I just mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about how he wants to be Morbius one day as well. Yeah. <laughs> is Jared Leto playing Morbius? Give me your plasma. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> no. Oh. Wow. Oh. He's moving up in the world. Joker Moaning. <laughs> oh boy. I don't want. Grape soda. Rug. Oh, Joker. Grape soda on ice. Disintegrated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. That's what I'm going to say next Thanksgiving with my family. He sounds like he's, he's got like the heavy, like, uh, oh, big wisdom teeth or something oh, yeah. in his yeah. mouth. He sounds this very bird turtle dovey. is baked. Turtle doves. Turtle doves. So bad. Yeah. Wow, she fucking nailed that landing. <laughs> yeah. Parkour. Ah, parkour. Hardcore parkour. And this is that's the last time in this movie we see the Joker till the very end. Right. They did cut out a scene that he was coming back into the squad and he tries to take her away, but she says no, like these are my friends, I gotta help them, so they break apart. But again, for some reason they didn't want that in the movie. I don't know. Like I know why because it's bad performance, but like Well no, that doesn't even make sense for the character. If they, for who? For her for him to just be like, Hey, come with me and she's like, nah. Well, I guess, no, the idea is if she has go with them, they're all going to die. And she goes, I need to help them. And he says, screw these people. Just come back with me. It's all about me. And she says, I want to help them first. And he says, if you're not with me. See, I me. feel like that doesn't make sense for her character, <laughs> which is probably why they cut it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I just, I. <sighs> They've I set it up this whole movie that she's just like wildly in love with him. I guess the idea is that there's, well, I don't and know. And she what the doesn't idea care is, about right? other yeah. people. No, you're right. Yeah. I, then I don't know why they filmed that scene then. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of this movie was pieced together in editing yeah. rather than. Taylor, what are the flares for here? In the script. To let the bad guys know where Amanda was. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't make. It doesn't make sense yeah. why they were oh, ejecting oh them because they were not under any like no. surface to air like yeah. attacks. But the brother was like, "Oh, right there." But I don't personally get as why she needed this team to come in, escort her ten feet to the roof <laughs> yeah. above the room she was in for a helicopter to pick her up. Oh, I'm getting so many headaches trying to like make us make sense Mental of this. Mental gymnastics yeah. for sure. <laughs> Mental gymnastics. Calisthenics poop troop. of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> the poop troop. It's time for number two. Imagine being hired to be a poop soldier in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do it? I mean, nah. I want my face. Let us why you did it. Like, so you can be Avengers Squad poop troop. I would get to see my name in, in the credits. You would. So that would be pretty awesome. Mom, look, you get to work troop. with maybe Chris Hemsworth for a day. Something Jesus, like that. yeah. Okay, I, I'm in. I don't care. See, that's how those poop monsters. <laughs> It'd be Liam, uh, Liam Hemsworth. He's one of the poop monsters. You just saw Hemsworth on the on like the <laughs> the, the, the script. <laughs> like, yeah. Imagine that. No, it's the third Hemsworth. <laughs> 
Imagine if he was a poop monster and he takes off his mask. Like, Chris, I'm on set with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, whatever. I don't. I Put the mask back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't let anyone know you're here. Killer Croc's licking his chops. Oh, yeah. Licking his paws. I'm so always offended when yeah. I'm over here, Taylor, and you Are have little posters. Of the OG uh, trilogy, but then you have a massive poster. Google. Like, like that's a big. What would you guys? What would you guys free. call the the hand of a crocodile? Like, because it's a not claw. a claw. A claw. A claw. Would, would it be a claw? I yeah. think so. Wouldn't there be claws on the hand though? Because the yeah. whole hand's not a claw. Like there is. I have to look that look, up. Kirkland's looking it up. Personally, I would have to say my favorite part if they did Joker in this movie. My favorite way they could have done they it is they did do Joker in this movie. Well, they, like if we did first didn't of all, see before the scene goes away, I love this moment where she is depressed and she pretends to be happy. That's good. Taylor, you can continue. I just want to say it while we're on the scene. Uh, I was acting. gonna say, uh, yeah, if they didn't have Joker in any of these scenes, and then the only time we got to see him was when he breaks in at the end of the movie. I think that would have been like I agree, the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. And then people would have wanted get all more. those quotes. Huh? We wouldn't get all those quotes. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this crocodiles. Crocodiles have webbed feet. Webbed, webbed feet. So they are feet. They're not. We have webbed feet. Webbed. I don't. We have webbed hands too. This is webbing. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? We're the only you? primates uh, <laughs> on the, the earth that have webbed hands. Did you know that? Do we have webbed though? This is webbing between our. Yeah, but like not really. No, that's very minimal. Oh yeah, that's webbing. Well, is it really though? Oh yeah, it's so like wet ape theory. If you, you know. swim underwater, your hands become grippy because of the water exposure. Grippy. Right, wrinkly, yeah. The wet up theory. They turn into raisins. So Harley Quinn's back poop with troops. the squad, and then uh, her the Suicide brother, Squad. Yeah, the brother is giving his sister the. Yeah, we haven't seen these characters in roughly forty-seven minutes. They're of still in the movie. I guess he didn't give her heart back originally. He just gave. Look at that bra. That something is something back. else. I got one of those. I'd wear that. And then now they're getting more powerful. Another beam in the sky. That Avengers two or Avengers made. They really popular. like colored eyes in this movie. Yeah. That voice is on. Yeah, I did the voice. <laughs> yeah, this CGI is terrible. So it's like uh, Lupita. Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why does she need to yeah. know how to destroy hum like man's armies when she's doing a pretty good fucking job at it? No idea. Not doing good enough. No. She doesn't succeed. Spoiler alert. No, she doesn't. I swear, she's the villain in Suicide Squad too. I'm gonna hate James Gunn. I'll never forgive him. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think I remember pitching that on the Suicide Squad review that I think the only two scenes should have been the flashbacks, even though they're still not good scenes on Gungo, but then the whole movie, him hinting, like, I'm getting closer. Yeah. You never see him in any Buster at jail. Because the stuff that him in the middle <laughs> is pointless with him going We wouldn't have facility, got Common. What? We wouldn't have seen Common no, in this No, my version you do. You keep the flashbacks. Because oh, okay. you got to establish Joker, right? In the oh, okay. Playing. I forgot that was a flashback. But you take out all the... Like, I'm coming on the helicopter, him, oh, I had a bearskin rug. Mm. Like, we don't need any of that. Nothing happens. This movie would not be the same without the bearskin rug, okay? <laughs> to be fair, he, he, he wouldn't have known what binder that was if it didn't say top secret on it. So it's, it's good that so they labeled. It's <laughs> awful. Like, if you're trying to hide something, you don't write top secret on top of it like that. Or like <laughs> bottom secret or like everyone <laughs> yeah. knows secret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's not really a big deal if you read this. Middle of the pack. He's like, oh, I'm just going to remember like, what the big secret yeah. is. I think it's just, uh, this is the problem. I think it's what us as the viewers know that the Enchantress is June Moon. This whole thing happened. June Moon. So there's no tension here because the Suicide Squad's being told what we've known the whole hour and a half. Usually when you do scenes like it's this. It's true because we knew, yeah, we learned that <laughs> yeah. a very long time ago. Usually when you do reveals, us as the viewer are supposed to not have all the pieces. But we do have yeah. all the pieces and they're just showing us the same I guess, scenes. I guess maybe the reason is because then it's like as the squad's like cruising out of the town, you don't really know what they're going toward. Yeah. So maybe there's like a lack of direction, but the you're definitely right. There's a better way to do it. The other thing that's strange is, again, because the reshoots, uh, Rick Flag's hair changes multiple times in this movie from long to buzz cut. So she like, she activated the bomb and disappeared, or she just disappeared. <laughs> she activated the bomb to, like distract them, I think, so she could disappear. Oh. <laughs> no sir. Also, if I was like the army guy who looked at all these people's pieces of shit. I'm going to be calling them by their superheroes. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, it feels He's very much desperate. like early X-Men movies where they're like, hey, Wolverine, like, how are you yeah. doing? <laughs> it's like if you really, really need help, you know, and the guy doesn't want to, it's like you come up to me and be like, hey, Taylor, feel the fields. I need your help. <laughs> it's exactly like, I'm getting this, a drink. It's exactly the same using, using my superhero name. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, was that the Clown Prince podcast? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll help you now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Killer Croc. Yeah, you do. He gets a Bloody Mary. He's looking in is the Is that supposed to be tank. symbolism? Drink dulls the mind. Drinks dull the mind. It's the end of the world, and Batman is nowhere to be found. Beer. He's in Gotham. They're in uh, New York City. He not not the man. actual New York City, the DC New York City. Yeah, he's right. busy being the fuck. Well, no, Superman's dead. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> this is a fun little scene here because this is a scene that I would say I actually like. Like they just start talking about their lives being. Changed. They saw the uh, Age of Ultron party <laughs> yeah, scene. Like tried. let's recreate that in Suicide <laughs> Squad. True. They tried. What am I? My twelve. Yeah. That's not even an ounce. Shout outs earlier in the movie. Shout out to Uncharted. <laughs> I like <laughs> Uncharted 2, Honor Among the Thieves. The yeah. rest of the criminals, or the rest of the good guys, are, are all downstairs. But for some reason, Katana is not with them. She is with the villains <laughs> in the bar. She's that with the people that actually have cool nicknames. <laughs> Batman yeah, would be in there too, I'm right? sure. Oh, yeah. No, he'd be arresting them all <laughs> in front of their kids. <laughs> Did you, do you know if Katana's in the next film? No, she's not. Oh, okay. And I said, I think it's only Boomerang, Har- Margo, and uh, Rick Flagg. I can't believe Boomerang's coming back. Rick Flagg, the Rick same Flagg actor? Is coming back. I do <sighs> think, unless people have this theory Oh, well, no. What is this? I do think uh, we well, got to If you're watching here. along. We, uh, we have some issues here. DVD oh, scratch. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. A couple scratches. That's part of the movie. Doing here. Stop doing lines <laughs> the of coke. The light is mine. <laughs> Stop doing lines of coke off your DVDs. Lines of coke. <laughs> I'm an idea. I, there is a... Oh, oh Taylor. Your DVD. Taylor. <laughs> There is a rumor going around that so right now the movie is paused. Uh, Ain't got no beef. We might have to <laughs> pause. <laughs> We're anyway. currently looking at Katana's face. Okay, we'll wait one more time to see if there's any more skips here. Okay, what's going on through Wi-Fi? You know, Kirkland's out of here. Well, <laughs> Definitely not a Wi-Fi. <laughs> He's Taylor's done. Or it's a DVD, so it doesn't right, need Wi-Fi. Right, that's true. I forgot about that. Do we want to pause this and let it load for a bit? Uh, that or refresh it. Let's just take. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna pause for a second. I'm probably have to. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back at it. You know, Taylor's DVD, some problems. Okay. El Diablo's back. losing his shit because... We're still in the bar. <laughs> I'm breathing fresh air. Yeah. And uh, two seconds sweets. There you go. That's where we are. Yep. I think this is like El Diablo's turn to like become help him or something. Yeah. You know. There's just so many tattoos in this movie. Like every <laughs> character has many tattoos. They love tattoos. Did he just essay him? Probably. Wow. <laughs> Let's not just essay El Diablo. You gotta do what you gotta do. Kirkland, you just missed some great scenes. Not much. Uh, it's El Diablo starting to turn on their side. Oh, okay. Because he's just been this is the, story the spectator this whole movie. This is the story how they try to make him a sympathetic character as he murdered his wife and child <laughs> because he got so angry. But we're supposed to cheer for him. But all right. You know. I mean, it was an accident. <laughs> yep. happened. It was an accident because he got angry, though. Yeah, but like, what, are you just not going to get angry? Oh, that ass slap. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I think he got angry for the wrong reasons. 
Boost and I Don't you hate troops, when your wife catches you burning down stuff? Speaking Spanish. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Essay. I've had two relationships and that way. Confused <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> this guy loves his fucking emojis. That's his wife, though. That's not an emoji. Oh, my bad. This is It's a lot of money, though. <laughs> <laughs> we know what Taylor would say in that situation <laughs> if Madison became a drug dealer. That's a lot of money, though. She doesn't look burned, so that's good. No, I don't know. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, oh no. now she's burned. She, is. she was only in coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How cheesy is that shot, though, when he looks at the camera? He's like, oh! Very cheesy. Oh, this movie. All right, so this is a top 10 worst comic work movie for me. It is just shot after shot. Just Pretty bad. And the kids? And the kids? He on, killed boomerang. his kids. Again, Reap I think she calls him out on this, which makes zero sense in the world they've established. What'd you say? She calls him out on killing kids, which makes zero sense because she's killed a k- Yeah, she's killed a kid in this um continuity, so yeah. we're just gonna ignore that, you know. But what she's does that saying have to do with own it, it you yeah, know. She's saying own it. It makes you stronger. <laughs> the power of the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Shout-outs to Australian people. <laughs> if we have an Australian patrons, mm-hmm. shout-outs to you. Shout-outs to the Oceanics. <laughs> the Oceanics. Yeah. <laughs> New, New Zealand gets left out. People, yeah, people always shout-out. And Australia. Fiji. <laughs> Fiji. I didn't know it was down there, actually. It's like... I thought Fiji was oh. a water. It's in the midst of nowhere. I think it's closest to New Zealand. Not me, room. shorty. I'm beautiful. I can't really remember that. You can't forget a line like that from Killer Croc. Wow. That's yeah, boring. you are. Do you think uh, Croc and Harley oh, Quinn yeah. bang at any point? They already did. No. Really? No. Oh, yeah, they went in the Joker. sewers. She would definitely want to see that draconic cock, though, at some <laughs> no. point. That the draconic size. cock. <laughs> Dracoc. That Godzilla sized Kong. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Where the fuck did Rick flag? Why are you on my screen, Rick? Why does he still have an earpiece in? I forgot it was there, let's be honest. It's a hearing aid. I am the legend. That's all I'm reading. Look, <laughs> I am. What's that like? Never been with a witch but before. The what are you talking about? Oh, he he said they He's know that Rick the Flag's <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. like. Why is Taylor saying I've never been with a witch before? <laughs> they know that Rick Flag is doing dirty with a witch. Oh, yeah. Rick Flag's giving up, so that's why he's joining the criminals. Again, there's a group of soldiers downstairs just like, well, our captain left I think now. Katana's been sleeping this entire scene. <laughs> She's just at the end of the bar, just big chilling. Harley, your thing was already deactivated. For all they knew, like, if <laughs> yeah. he broke it, it could have automatically, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like sitting there contingency. And all heads are <laughs> off, and he's just like, what have I done? <laughs> Where would these letters come? Oh, he just had all these letters. <laughs> He keeps them, them in his them. underwear. Because they were important to take on the mission, of yeah, course. Like, instead of an extra ammo pack, let's bring all these fucking letters. Well, they thought at one point if they needed to make a fire, they needed something to get it going, right? So. <laughs> they can't trust El Diablo to light a fire. It's true. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Is his daughter dead in the continuity? No, she's alive. Oh, okay. Batman was going to kill her. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was going to adopt her. This Batman <laughs> is a mass murderer. He, is so. a mass he needs a new Robin, yeah. so. He's he murdered needs a new Robin. hundreds of people. Dub <laughs> Duck's dead shots. Daughter <laughs> to be his new Robin. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> that know, ship has sailed. You're still a criminal, man. You still have killed many, many, many people. Many, many people. <laughs> yeah, you're still a piece of shit. I still think when she grows up old enough, oh. So, yeah, we've had – so Will Smith found out that Ric Flair was keeping the letters. He got mad, and he's going to go prove that he's a good guy and save the world. And I think that was one of my problems, too, when I saw this first time. I still didn't think they established that I believe these characters would want to save the world, not just run away, because they all seem like kind of pieces of crap still, but, you know. Ken Boomerang ran, right? Oh, no, he just went There he is. And he comes right back, you know. Oh, not a classic no, wait Taylor. For the last Taylor, your Taylor what do you do to this disc? Yeah, the DVD's just not working. Taylor, right go now. look at the time code, and I would say refresh it. That'd be the best. Refresh. Thing. Yeah, we're gonna take a little break here. 
We're gonna be right match. back after Editing a match. word oh. from these great people. Okay, remember that one forty twenty five. I forgot it. One twenty four forty two. What type of madman? What are you doing? Okay. I thought you were doing reload on the page by a right click. I'm like, who is this man? <laughs> Why does he not just press the refresh button? One four uh one four forty twenty five. What is one forty five? It's one twenty four forty two. Shit. Don't listen to him, Taylor. They're lying. It's one forty five twenty two. How long have we been on this rock? It's six hundred seven hundred. Oh, I see Blade in Taylor's DVD. Blade. I got my Blade to level 200. Oh, and I Holy Blade fuck. Black Panther. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See? Ah. That's why I love Look Movie. I have like 18 XP I can kill now. Look Movie? Well, we need DVD, right? Well, we're not recording anymore. Okay, there we go. Do we need another buffer for a bit? Or? Buffer. Just let it sit for like five minutes or something. Taylor believes in his high-speed internet. I think we got it now. Taylor had to lower the quality of his DVD, though, so. Yeah. <laughs> the DVD. <laughs> yeah. I just Netflix like never has this problem. Yeah. Fuck Netflix. DVDs, that's why. You know. This state-of-the-art boomerang. That is so stable. Look at how smooth that the camera so record stable. is. Well, yeah, dude, they're trying to pimp their fucking Samsung. Yeah. Look at this product placement right here. <laughs> oh, the brother took it out. <laughs> boomerang, damn. <laughs> My boomerang camera. It's the only one I had. <laughs> <laughs> I used it for this. <laughs> Yeah, and this is where Joker is supposed to come in, like, right here. Right when they go in the building, Joker's supposed to be already, like, half burnt and everything like that. Half burnt? But they yeah. took it out. There's, yeah, it's in the trailer, but they took it out. He looked, he actually looked pretty cool, minus the shitty tattoos, but tis his life. Damaged. Fucking damaged. Where do they get the scuba gear from all of a sudden? Uh, Killer Croc at it. It his letters. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, when he Love takes off his sweater. jacket, he's so tiny. Bra. Oh, God. I love Killer Croc. <laughs> That's Killer Croc. Those eyes. Ay, ay, ay. That crawl. That's like the best way to get into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> no, why do you can't swim? <laughs> you go to the public <laughs> pool. No one goes to pools with Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to see him fucking water exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to see him at the water slides. <laughs> he- sir, not head down first. <laughs> oh god, this scene. She's crying to her Oh grenade. yeah, fuck. <laughs> I forgot about so that. So she does take her mask off at another point. <laughs> You're right. In the yeah. theatrical release. It's <laughs> crying to her sore. Wait, it was only that one shot. That's all we got. I think so. Damn. Poor Katana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that was... So the sword killed her husband, and her his soul is trapped in there, yeah, along with the I thousands th- of criminals? Yeah, I think some, it was either like her sword and someone used it against her, or maybe it was before, and then she took it The from motivation her. of every single member of the squad is that they killed their spouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look at him just big <laughs> slurping around. <laughs> <laughs> slurping around. <laughs> He's slurping it. What if his swimming animation was just like him <laughs> getting into the water? <laughs> Some I janky wish. old game. I wish. Katana. Ooh. Katana. Katana. Hannah Kent. Hannah Katana. So there's a the subway Hannah now. Katana. Looking for Venom. <laughs> yeah. Venom. 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 Got that Joker. Joker. It's a knock knock. Great song. Oh, well. eh. It's not going to top. This new album's not going to top Venom Venom. <laughs> Venom Venom. <laughs> what if he does another Venom song? Be for Venom really 2. Good. Venom 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 Venom. Is that the sequel? Travis is putting on some Dutch Let's subtitles. Get some Croatian Dutch in subtitles. there. Via cold. Via hmm? cold. Yeah, bring that blanket on over. <laughs> Snuggle up. <laughs> Snuggle it. I got your back. Rick Flag. So, yeah, we're just establishing again, as if many times Rick Flag loves June Moon. We get it. He doesn't want to kill her. Wait, does he? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't quite tell. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking great, great answer. answer that is. That is a good answer. He's like, yeah, you can sacrifice yourself. 
<laughs> yeah, you killed your. He's kids. like, I don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a shitty guy, dude. <laughs> you killed your family. <laughs> You're lowest on the totem pole, SA. <laughs> yeah, get back to prison. <laughs> yeah, you're going straight there. I think his superhero outfit is just a fucking jeans. So we got the CGI out. fest now. Just a white oh theater. yeah. Yeah. Why? Hmm. Oh god, here we go. Oh, here's the wavy arm. Yeah, wacky inflatable enchantress. Smack her on the ass. Oh wow, <laughs> this was great. Is he talking about his? <laughs> 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 he goes in there, pull it hard on. June, I know you're in there. <laughs> I know you want some yeah. of this magic. Come on. You want the beef. Oh, she's not going to bite. That's good. <laughs> Step out of the shadows. <laughs> it is this fucking Galadriel ripoff. And I always was disappointed that, like, these people can just be taken out by a mere simple bomb. You know, like, that's it. <laughs> it's no simple bomb. Oh, there's a... Flashback scene? Yeah, to him killing Batman. Batman is just fucking dead. Yeah. He kills Batman? This is like what they wish would have happened. <laughs> ben Affleck, we want ben you to Affleck. play dead. That was his future team? No. The Harley Quinn one is wild. Oh, yeah. He was like a full family. Which, again, makes no sense because she chose to be crazy. So it's not like you would get <laughs> this. This is actually a scene from Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> this is, those are <laughs> fake eyebrows on Jared Leto because he shaved his off. He shaved them off. Yeah, for the role. <laughs> Motherfucker. This is so stupid and weird. Because you, you just don't know what Harley Quinn really wants. Oh, no. Rick Flag flashback. Where's my the worst big one, enemy. baby? <laughs> Give me the big one. I won't bite. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Harley Quinn just had her washing machine vision with Joker. Rick Flag seen June Moon as normal. Killer Croc just sees like a bunch of goats <laughs> running around. <laughs> Diablo gets them out of this, doesn't he? Because he's like, it's not real. Yeah. I killed my family. Well, yeah, it's like, I love it. It's like, what you, <laughs> you took, you killed your family. This was your fault. What does the tattoo on the back of his head say? H1N1. Maybe we can kick it. What does that mean? Maybe we can kick it. <laughs> this is my biggest problem with this dream <laughs> sequence. She wants. She's asking if he wants to fuck. Oh. So you gotta love that. El Diablo's like ultimate dream is just his kids to be asleep so he can fuck his wife. Oh like, what yeah. A piece of shit character. <laughs> Not even di like just make a dinner with his family and no, so he can sleep with his wife. What an asshole. What was Captain Boomerang's memory? We don't get to see. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's too graphic. It was giddy up. Him. <laughs> yeah, giddy up. Or having a bunch of all those like phone boomerangs. <laughs> bunch of Samsung devices. I got a whole set, mate. <laughs> oh <Ooh>. god, <laughs> this is brutal. It's pretty nice CGI. <laughs> Brother, lady, you are evil. Look at this guy. He's he got the predator comes out walk. Of stage left. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <Yeah>. brother. <laughs> he was in the break room. Yeah, getting a drink. Yes, the gun. Oh, they can dodge, but Good the American army can't. Yeah, he just whiffed so hard. And remember that small boomerang that he hit earlier five minutes ago? Yeah. He can't hit these guys. <laughs> GQ it's magazine. They shoot out a bunch of flares from them, <laughs> like Amanda Waller's helicopter. Oh, poop troop. Throws a boomerang at him. Let's just yell out all the commands. Very video game style, like. <laughs> oh, boy. Oof. I was already out of this movie, but I remember watching it just being like, man, what has happened to this <laughs> film? Incubus roars. Yeah, incubus, incubus roars. There you go, Diablo. <laughs> you just oh get no. shot. It's I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is dumb because like <laughs> oh, it's dumb. Incubus doesn't even kill anyone. It's like there's no consequences. Oh. Yeah, there you go, Dead Chuck. Get those wrist rockets. Why would he walk up to him to shoot him? Isn't that the point of a gun is that you accuracy. have range? It's got a lot of spread. He doesn't need accuracy. 
exactly. It's like a shotgun. I do like this part. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's oh. on, bitch. Uh. Yeah, so the El Diablo just turned into a mass of fire demon. Yeah. He's so is that what his power is? Like, is he a fire demon or like? I guess so. I've never given a fuck about El Diablo, so <laughs> I've never looked into it further than this movie. That's this movie turn you off that's of El Diablo? That's what happens when you don't know the character and they do a bad iteration. You're like, I don't care. Mm. I don't need to see him again. <clears throat> it's true. So, uh, Scott Eastwood is just carrying it on right now. He's carrying the movie on his well, kill, he, Killer Croc's holding the putties off. Oh. Remember, that's what he's doing. So Scott can be down there at the bomb. <laughs> that should be on set for this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now you're going to say, yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. Now you're going to say, this woman's evil. Go, yeah. Look yeah, they must have just showed them, like, the <laughs> movie, and these are their reactions. Like, oh, God. Yeah. Blow it! <laughs> That's the Joker? <laughs> <laughs> so now he's got feelings for Diablo. He has feelings for all. Oh. <laughs> he has feelings for does all. Does Scott them. Eastwood die here? Now nah, you're screwed. Yeah, he does. Oh, shit. He commits suicide to help. He's part of the suicide squad. Yeah. I don't know why she wasn't helping at all. Nope. Like she's useless. She could have just really standing around. <laughs> she could have killed this issue. Just take one br minute break from taking over the world, and you could defeat these people. Breathing shakily. <laughs> yeah, you know what that that's like. It's very scary. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Does that right before he gets in the pool? <laughs> yeah. He can't swim. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I go in head. Maybe that's why you can't swim, Taylor. You keep going in head first and then the pool. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going in the wrong way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Start with your feet. Yeah, okay, go bottom first. Oh. Yikes. Yeah, Taylor's even dropping a yikes over there first. It's a little awkward. awkward. Movie, though. I mean, if the Suicide Squad failed, then I'm sure Batman would beat her. Oh, that's why Batman didn't come in. It's like, that's too easy for him, you know? Nah, he couldn't beat her, I don't think. Oh, yeah, man. He's beating them all. That was their main satellite. Oh, I'm pretty man. sure satellites don't Great shut off power like that. Well, probably because you probably named uh, oh. name it's top secret facility. They're getting <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Google Maps. <laughs> She's getting information <laughs> from what's her face. Don't come here. <laughs> top <laughs> secret. <laughs> <got her hard>. <laughs> <laughs> so why is she going into this form? Because she looks better. <laughs> yeah. Because then she can teleport. Because it's easier for her to get beaten this way, too, I feel. Ah. Because then they can get a stunt double to do yeah. it. Yeah. It's like when you get their health bar down to a certain level and they change forms. <laughs> yeah, true. <Yeah. laughs> I need to save this until I'm yeah. really low. Goes to a cutscene. Yeah. I have returned. <laughs> yeah. You thought you had beaten me, but no. Why is she yelling Issuing in Japanese? Issuing commands in Japanese. <laughs> I wonder if Bruce Wayne's mansion is listed as top secret in Alfred. Amanda Waller's mind. Alfred, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Bruce uh, Wayne's nothing. house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's back. Third phase. Yeah, the two sword, the the weapon you didn't know about in the boss <laughs> battle. Yeah. They have two guns. <laughs> Dead shots. Wrist gauntlets block these magical swords. Pretty impressive. That's pretty awesome. He has some stony tar. Well, then she <laughs> kicks him like 20 He has some feet. Tony Stark gear over here. Oh. Oh. oh almost decapitated. Sucks to suck. This fight scene, just super dark. Good thing Killer Croc was like doing nothing for like a half an hour. The bat didn't do anything. Oh, Ooh. right in the vat. Another ass shot. That, yeah. That was a crotch ash. <laughs> that was a, like a taint shot, unfortunately. The taint. Yeah. like. You don't hear that word too often. No. No. Underrated word. Or Tickling the taint. taint. <laughs> I've not heard that word in a while. No? <laughs> no? You're not a taint tickler? You heard it here first, <laughs> Geekverse fans. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> if this is your first time hearing the word taint, please let us know in the comments. <laughs> well, that's doing a lot. Oh, yeah. Right well, now, Captain it's, Boomerang it's is like being Marvel shanked. It's like Marvel Clients of Thane, right? Like little, little XP. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely. 
Killer Croc's she's just gonna gonna fucking whoa. whipping around. Oh, didn't work. Way to go, Croc. He just powered her up. <laughs> yeah, threw her back to her, her charging station. And look, after oh, the fight, my just God. All the, weapons. all the weapons are gone. <laughs> That's such a coward's thing to say when you know you're losing. <laughs> yeah. Look at that hairdo. I'm working here. Hey. Hey, I'm walking <laughs> I'm, here. I'm joining you. <laughs> I'm joining you. <laughs> well, you're also criminals. These aren't <laughs> the world hates us. It's like you've done multiple bad things. Harley's going up there to make a deal. Oh, maybe that's why they cut that scene too. Yeah. So they could have it a more reason to true, true. go up there. Because there is also a rumored cut where he apparently threw her out of the helicopter. I Ooh. don't know how that goes, but but like on purpose, like a way yeah, to yeah, like, yeah. oh, I don't, you did something to piss me off, so I don't know. Again, like BVS, like Red Skywalker, her feet. many right versions beneath of them. this movie. Beneath the toes. <laughs> In between those webbed feet. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Harley herself cuts open the heart and gets it. She's a doctor. She knows exactly where the heart is and where to cut. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Just go do it. Grabs him abruptly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fact that Enchantress like, goes down to like someone who has literally no powers whatsoever is pretty crazy. And it's not even like you can give people like Batman shit or Black Widow shit, but at least these are people that have like trained their entire lives for this, right? Harley Quinn was a fucking doctor for 30 years of her life and she's just been sucking the joker's dick like she has no powers no training whatsoever she's just a wild card but you know a lot happens when you suck that jared letter joker apparently deck apparently you get powered up imagine if you get shot just misses the <laughs> shot here <laughs> no <laughs> just fucking killer he shoots it too early he has massive Krog. nipples holy shit <laughs> oh yeah have you seen a crocodile's nipples breastfeeding have you seen a crocodile's nipples yeah breastfeeding no i haven't well, I yeah. have now, I guess. Yeah. Now you have. Those are small in the yeah. crocodile family. Are they? Okay. It's good to know. Oh, she's pulling our last card here. Mm -hmm. It's like Inception. <laughs> Yikes. That's great writing. 10 out of 10 movie. Taylor Field. I would have gone with like, uh, you know, oh, don't pull the trigger and come home to me, daddy. Wow. That would have saved the movie. Don't ever say daddy again, yeah. please. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. Taylor. <laughs> I thought there was an umbrella. There was like <laughs> so a closed umbrella. what happened to the heart? I missed it. Uh, Harley she Quinn's just, like, Harley it Quinn's out. hand right now. It's in Harley Quinn's okay. hand. She ate it. For a second, I got <laughs> confused, and I thought they threw the heart into there, and then they threw the palm. I'm like, why didn't they just put it on the She just, like, catches it, puts <laughs> it back in. <laughs> why didn't they just destroy it right there? But, okay, so they're destroying this portal. Portal's a destroyed. A lot of CGI. Yeah, dead shot. Got the shot. No superheroes around. Flash or Batman. That's all good, though. We got the Suicide Squad in full force. Katana did nothing that fight. No. Her sword, but... Whoa. Second time grabbing him. So he's not a hugger. Harley Quinn's not a joiner. What's Killer Croc? <laughs> not a person. He's not a lover. He's a bottom. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Katana <laughs> <laughs> was ready just to execute yeah. her. We got uh, Smeagol Enchantress here. <laughs> Smeagol. I feel like that'd be more of a Gollum character as opposed to Smeagol. You That's don't true. have the balls. Yeah. That, <laughs> I remember. I think I laughed out loud in the theater because it's just like a villain <laughs> in this emotional state. To be like, you don't have the balls. I think I remember and you laughing, actually. I, I do remember that. Old, <laughs> thousand years old. Like, just, you don't have the balls. It's like, come on. <laughs> okay, Boomer. She like, just drops that line. <laughs> That'd be ahead of the times. <laughs> well, Thanks, that's Google. Wow. <laughs> Why did they make Suicide Squad? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So they destroyed the heart. Enchantress is dead. It looks like June Moon is not coming back. Well, I wonder if any second now someone's going to wake up and maybe be alive. She is mud. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you got to shower first, girl. Imagine if Whoa. she wasn't alive, but the body was just twitching, and he got him excited for nothing. Mm. It's like spawning an orc in Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when your orc guy. is ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> find the halfling. <laughs> oh, find them now. Meat oh, do you back so. on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a little bite. Very long. Yeah, you do. Jesus. <laughs> she's got the app. Huh. Yeah, it makes little sense how she's not dead, but. I'm surprised they even got prison sentences. Well, not just a life a sentence. Prison, that's yeah. still a sentence. Oh. You just get 10 years off your life. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense, though. No. You have a life sentence, but, but we'll I take 10 years off of it. But a life sentence is, like, it's an amount of time. I guess so, but if, let's say, someone throws you in jail, says, Dylan, you have a life sentence, but we're going to take 10 years off your life sentence. Yeah. When do you get out? Well, a life sentence is, like, 100 years or 80 years or some shit. Really? Like, it's an actual amount of time. So, the, oh, shit. There you go. So, they're working at 90 now. years. So, they're at 90. Let's say it's 100. They're at 90 years. Well, they just said three life sentences. Three life sentences? Yeah. So, 300 years. Yeah. So, they're down so to 290. Yeah, 10 90. years ain't doing much. They no. had it's three something. life sentences? That's what he just said. All of them? Or Boomerang had. Boomerang it. had. Oh. I don't know. For about just robbing banks. Yeah, <laughs> that's too bad. He must have murdered a lot of those security guards. Yeah, true. Sorry. He probably did using his Samsung phone. <laughs> yeah. He must be a mathematician, knowing all those angles to shoot at. Yeah. Like yep. earlier when he was doing the deflection shots. Right. Oh my gosh. Him and all the would have killed at the birthday party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that Rick they Flag killed watching? Them, right? Yeah, because he's like on. He's. Oh, Why like, is Rick Flag on like baby duty? Because he's on. Uh, baby duty. Like it's. What do they call that? Probation? Or well, not really, but he's watching these meetings, so they mm. need someone to make sure he doesn't escape or anything mm. like that. Supervised visitation. That's what uh. he has, yeah. Talking about the curvature of the Earth. The Earth's not curved, though. Yeah, it's, it's flat. It's true, it's flat. <laughs> yeah. Here at the Geek First, we're flat Earthers. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> tons, of, <laughs> tons of corners. Yeah. We get a bump in our viewership. I've seen the edge. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do a podcast one day from the edge number from the four. ice wall, yeah. right? <laughs> edge number four. Yeah, there's <laughs> four seen, edges. We haven't seen the third one. We've seen one, two, and four. Yeah, the fourth one's really hard to find. Yeah, the third one apparently Enchantress is there. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, I think the third one you go there, it's all those like dead celebrities. They say are still alive, like Elvis and everything. Right. Like, oh like, yeah. You made it. Like Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, top it off with Queen. If you haven't heard every ever fucking rock yeah, band in this theme. movie. Didn't she get a Keurig or a between the maker? sheets? Yeah, she does. Yeah. Look at that hairdo. So she gets a little bit Those more. Those slips. Slippers. Those slips are. Look high I love Croc's setup. He's Isn't got he a like hamburger. Watching porn or he's got a big here? flat no, screen. He's watching BTV. Yeah. Oh yeah! yeah. Look at that killer Croc. Just That's hype. <laughs> 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 Boomerang getting shot on. Boomerang didn't get anything. It looks like he's just still in a room. He must have his unicorn. Is is in the cell there? I mean, I would hope so. He just got the ass end of the stick. Got some letters here. Yeah, dead shots. Boxing, getting ready for the next fight that is not going to come because he's not. They should bring dead shot back. For he's sure. hugging. He said he's not a hugger, but he's hugging. What'd you say? He said earlier when Rick Flag hugged him, he's like, I don't do hugs, but now he's hugging his punching bag. Yeah, if this was the only scene with the Joker, it would have been fucking fantastic. You would just want this to be the only scene. The only scene in this movie. The whole movie. See, the reason I don't want that, too, is because then people would have been like, I want to see more of Jared Leto's Joker. See what's oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we <laughs> wouldn't have thought it would have been bad at the but time. But that's why I'm glad we knew oh. what we got. Because then we didn't end up getting a Jared yeah, Leto Yeah, it's not like it would age yeah. any better over time. <laughs> yeah. His vest says Joker, though. Like, if you were just seeing this for the first time in theater, you'd be like, oh, shit. It would have been a hype moment. It really would have, but... But then you see this. Exhales. <laughs> and it wouldn't the height would have been gone. Let's go home. Let's go home. 
See, but you couldn't see the damaged, so it yeah, would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I guess we're going to pick up in Birds of Prey with them broken up and everything. I do like these end credits. I like all the effects and visuals. Very acid trip. 100%, yeah. But, um, Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Who's Deborah Snyder? His wife. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big thing in DC. Uh, Nolan's wife produced his Batman movies as well, so Nolan's. Married? It's all family. Emma Thompson. All in the in the family. Emma Thompson. Yeah, not that Emma Thompson. <laughs> it's a different one. There is Wait, one. Who is the scene, Emma Thompson? But we <laughs> could talk about <laughs> I don't know over any that because the end credit scene doesn't matter at all. So Taylor, I'll start with you because you're positive. So this still, you know, ten out of ten. You love this movie, eh? I mean, I'd be down to like bump it a little bit down. Bump it higher. Bump it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bump it up. Uh, that guy's name is Gabe Hilfer. It's interesting Gabe. last name. Uh, I give it a. Uh, I'd probably go like an eight out of ten. That's a dramatic drop. I feel. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you just took out Will Smith's points. That's <laughs> well, no, cool. Will Smith's points are still in Jay there. Jared Leto's second, second name. Jared Leto's second billing. Whoa. Oh that's my god. Who was first? Margot Robbie. Oh. He should have been like the end, honestly. He got it over. No, not even. He got over Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. That's a. Crime. The end credit scene would have just been his. Which credit. one of these is Slipknot? <laughs> Uh, he's not up yet. That's quite the name. I'll tell you. His name is Adam B. Card Yeah. Ike like Baranoff. That's Griggs. the brother I bet. Griggs. No, that's Griggs. Oh, that's Griggs. Griggs. Scott Eastwood. Does Adam Beach even get one of these? He doesn't Adam <laughs> Beach. Oh, Adam is that Beach? Slipknot? That was. Yeah, okay. Common even gets Who's Common? Uh, we want no beef. We want no yeah, beef. We want no beef. And then the club. David Harbour. Shares a credit with Katana. Oh, sure. yeah. That was David Harbour. I, yeah. I, I didn't. Said that oh, my gosh. I said that's Hellboy. <laughs> Taylor! I was so I was like, oh, it's uh, Will Smith. <laughs> it wasn't even what? <laughs> Will Smith's in this movie. <laughs> he just hyped. He wasn't paying attention to yeah. us. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, let's see. I think the end credits the might be popping up, but uh, if not, we'll keep talking. But so Taylor dropped it down from an eight uh, to an eight. That's that's quite a drop. To an eight. But still, you know, it was a good time watching it so with you guys. Yeah, the end credits scene's coming up. I remember the music beat here. Oh, they uh, even uh, ended uh, with the no. Joker laughing. Just that little. Mr. Wayne. They even spoiled it. You should have just had that shot because in a second they like cut to it. Oh, it's Bruce Wayne. They shouldn't have ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Ben Affleck. I love Ben Affleck. Midway City. Oh, see, so at this point, yeah, she didn't know. I don't think he was Batman. Mm. So his wa- his Wayne. Another thing that says top secret on top of it. Yeah. <coughs> Which is strange again, because he had first <laughs> he had it's all this Aquaman. information in BVS, and then two. Well, he wants more she- information, right? <laughs> I guess. But Wait, w- would this came out before BVS though? No, no before Justice League. Right. Yeah, but he got the Lex Luthor's USB that had all this info. He likes paper copies. See, she insinuates maybe that she maybe knows. She knows. Yeah. Please read the subtitle. subtitle. Why do you have that on your (laughs) DVD? I will say before we go away, I am always still very disappointed we didn't get more Ben Affleck. I wish he directed the movie. I wish he acted. I have a lot of problems with the writing. But, (laughs) man, he was a great Batman. And it just sucks that we didn't get more of this stuff. We didn't even get to see him really interact with Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. So, uh. Yeah, this movie, I think I gave it like a 2 out of 10 back in the day. It's still the same. It's 2 out of 10? Because of Margot and Will Smith. That's two what good things. What was your first rating? 2 out of 10. Oh. That's what I said. I think it's the same because Margot and Will Smith, that's two things I like. The rest, even people like Boomerang, they're fine, but I don't love them. And this movie's just a disaster, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah, 2 out of 10 for me. This is tough. Yikes. Slipknot. Tough watch. Yeah, I have no idea what I rated it. Do you remember what I rated it? I think you're somewhere in the middle. You're you probably like seven. Yeah, seven you're seven six. Seven, eh? Damn. I'm probably going to have to fail this movie, give it Oof. like four and a half. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Why are you failing it? What's the half from a five? It was, if I didn't have to do this for like a retro, or not a retro, just like a commentary track, I definitely wouldn't watch this film. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Jared yeah, Leto's Joker. Watch this again? It's... No. No, right? No, yeah. Like, Jared Leto's stuff is just so cringy. And, like, it's fun to make fun of it. But, like, if I was at my house, I would just be like, why the fuck am I watching this? But, uh. Yeah, you're in my house, and are you wondering why the fuck you're <laughs> watching this? Listen to Mr. Suckle. Mr. Suckle. Let's go, Melinda. Mr. Suckleberry. The Suckle Squad. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like data I said wranglers. in the beginning, I liked uh, the CGI stuff with Enchantress. <laughs> Wrangle that data. Um, <laughs> Will Smith was great. Harley Quinn, obviously. So there is some good stuff in there. Harleen Quinzel. I feel like once it gets to a certain point in the movie, it's like the first third, it's just like all downhill. I don't know. What are we? What are you doing? Are you positive? Still uh, seven out of ten. That's a fun. Like I would never watch this on my own. Yeah. Because I feel like that'd just be an awful. You watch experience. Civil War instead. Yeah, easily. Hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is just like it. This is a, it's a fun movie to watch with some homies though, and just like make fun of how stupid it is because Jared Leto's Joker is consistently terrible and it's like <laughs> hilarious. Like every single scene, he's awful. Like worse yeah. than the last scene. It's this like, yeah. bird is baked. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's crazy how consistent he baked that bird. Like <laughs> yeah. it's so good. So I don't know. I lo- I think it's a, I like this movie. I think it's fun. Is it a good movie? No. Um, I'm gonna like, I'm not gonna change my score. My score from back in the day will stay. Because I don't do sto- scores. So That's it, true. It'd be it'd be sus to change them now. Yeah. That's true. Um, I would give this like, uh, you know, twelve Joker. Uh, Grills out of a hundred. <laughs> how many teeth? <laughs> how many teeth does a person have? Forty. I think it changes, doesn't I don't it? Know. I don't know. I was about to say a number, I'm not say knowing seven anything. Grills out of the <laughs> yeah. Forty mandibles. That we <laughs> the song was made just for the movie. Anything else? To say. Um, We've done it. We've covered one of our old transportation reviews. for Mr. Leto. I feel bad for Gary Canary. <laughs> 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 What's his name? Gary Canary? <laughs> I think it was Gary Canale or something. Dr- I like Gary. Leto would have a driver named Gary Canary. <laughs> <laughs> he probably made him change his name. He's like, first, let's uh, go to the fucking town hall. Oh, change your name to <laughs> Gary Canary. Mr. Canary now. Sorry, Gary. He's got to be a bird. Oh, man. I hope. For the sake of this podcast, we love Morbius and love Jared Leto in it because I don't want to just. I don't know if I'd say I love Morbius. No, but I hope that I hope. I mean, I hope we oh, do. Yeah. I hope yeah. we yeah. walk out. We're like, yeah, man, yeah. Leto I'll killed it. We love that movie, so we can be like, you know what? He gave us Joker, but we have this reverse where we all love it. But like, it's just, it's just tough. We like him in Blade Runner, but uh, yeah, we've yeah. done it. This was like Dylan's one of our biggest reviews for a while. We've gone back. Right before Birds of Prey, is get you excited for Birds of Prey? Kind of does, because because I forgot how good Margot Robbie is in yeah, the role. Yeah. You know, even though there's consistently terrible dialogue, she does great. Yeah, killer app, killer app, great pop. Get on Get your ice. Samsung phone out there, Captain. Anything Boomer. else? Say because I feel like this is the last time we'll ever talk in depth about Suicide Spider. I don't know, man. Closing the chapter. I don't think I feel the like last every time, time we do commentary tracks, it's, it's like that chapter is closed. So. Yeah, I don't know. My my bird is baked over here. So. <laughs> I would agree to that. <laughs> yeah, your bird. How's your bird doing? How are you doing, Gary Canary? Gary Canary. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just it's. There's 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 I forgot how many like crazy lines that Joker or Jared Leto's Joker yeah, had. Honey, I gotta change my name or Jared's gonna fire me. What's wrong? Let's change our name to Canary. I can't believe it was in the lo- this in the extended scene of him saying I'm an I'm an idea. I'm you like, know that's such I'm a bold idea. thing. Oh. I'm an idea. I'll be your, I'll be your friend. <laughs> Friend. It's crazy how bad he is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you continue to be our friend for the next little <laughs> while. <laughs> Stay tuned because Patreon always has great stuff. You're going to get again. you got a commentary tracks coming up. You'll have After 9. True. You get cast when we do them early and record them. You'll get them. So sometimes like the retros we do, things like that. Uh, and everything ad-free. Even at the dollar level, if you want to get on there, especially with the commentary track that helps with no ads whatsoever, whether that's from Spreaker, whether that's from a sponsorship, you get zero ads, just clean yeah. listening. So that's a good reason to stay on Patreon and support us there because we're trying to build this out and do bigger things. So uh, we thank you very much for tuning in. Taylor, they know where they can find us, but quickly for Patreon people. Oh, you great folks out there, you friends in need. Uh, check us out, Internet Connection, Geek for Space Podcast, everywhere. <laughs> Until next nice. time, it won't be boring. As the hunk of hunk guys would say, a hunk of hunk to you and yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bake those birds, baby. Bake those birds. Sucker for pain. That would be a song in this movie. It was written for this movie. And I am a guy. Performed by Lil Wayne, Lake Teresa, and Imagine Dragons. And Kid in the Corner. And Kid in the Corner. <laughs>